left, 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 left. Oh, is that Ram Tide? Yeah, Ram Tide. I'm swiping right. Hello, friends. Welcome to r slash Tinder. With all the bad dating stuff we've done on the channel, I thought it might be nice to get some bands back and forth before everything goes super sour. And there's some really good lines in here, too. So, uh, <laughs> let's see. Found one from a while back. If I recall correctly, he unmatched me after. Oh, Matthew, what are you doing out here, Matthew? OP says, huh, I probably want to go to Taco Bell. Is that a restaurant? <laughs> it is, right? <laughs> uh, you got the job. <laughs> Just stop talking. Because you can sit down. <laughs> and I'm sure they bring you your food to your table. And if I wanted to, I could tip. I think that makes it a restaurant. <laughs> I am slain. I was thinking more like the Ritz for a first date, but I guess Taco Bell works. The Ritz doesn't have Baja Blast, Matthew. <laughs> uh, oh my god. There's a keeper right there. Matthew, he's not being his true authentic self. <laughs> OP nailed it down. She's like, yeah, I just want the Baja Blast. It's fine. It's a marketing ploy that works. All right, here's one called, I'm honestly blown away. You want to hear a funny story? Yeah. A girl walks into a bar with her co-workers. See this cute bartender but can't flirt because she's got a complicated relationship going already? Lo and behold, L-O-W, lo, <laughs> As she's heading out the door, the ravishing bartender gives the girl his name and number. She's in disbelief and baffled on what to do. She says, thank you, and leaves. By the next morning, she has to throw away the number and hope fate will let her set eyes upon this man again. Well, months and months later, she's single and matches with him on Tinder. Thank you, fate. The end. He's like, yeah, I got the date. I ain't even a bartender. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, this chick is super screwy. I guess that's one way to live your life. Hey, cool, I got that guy's number and I kind of like him. Better throw it away. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess the opportunity has to knock twice for you, huh? I'm way too neurotic to live this way, but I don't know. Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice. Uh, I wonder why she's single. Yeah, you really do just see the most unfortunate requirements on Tinder, don't you? About me. Swipe right only if you meet the criteria below. Must be 5 foot 10 plus. Must make 80,000 plus, And looking for other sources of income. Yeah, this source of income was you. I'm trying to be a two income household. She's like, oh no, I don't do that. <laughs> uh, must share your location and social media passwords with me. Ew. <laughs> Aren't allowed to have any female friends without my permission. Holy God, <laughs> uh, how does it get worse every single sentence? Why are you this insecure? Who hurt you? <laughs> you need to let that go before you get back on the market, how about? He must be financially stable and are against loans, mortgages. So what you're saying is you never want to buy a car or a house? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm financially stable, but I'm not going to take out a loan. I guess you could buy a, a decent used car. <laughs> He must be dominant and kind and sympathetic and funny and family oriented. I mean, those are all fair dues, I suppose. You are okay with me taking a girl's trip. Oh, and you lost me again. <laughs> uh, are there going to be boys on this girl's trip? Tell you what, how about you give me your social media passwords? Let's see how that one flies. She not gonna like that none too much. <laughs> uh, this is wild, dude. If you want love, lower your expectations. Just for fun, let's head over to uh, IGotStandardsBro.com. And we'll set, okay, not married, 5, 10, 80,000 per year. What's the probability of meeting someone in that range? 2.5%. And the age range wasn't specified, so yeah, that's up to 40. It's not the worst probability ever, I guess, though. It could happen. Alternatively, life is, is gonna hand this woman a very hard lesson in some form or fashion, and that's unfortunate. 
One of the biggest red flags on dating apps I can imagine is, is them describing their ideal partner instead of telling me anything about themselves. You're never going to find anything meaningful in, in somebody that only sees other people as like, oh, you can do this for me. Okay, yeah, I can. What are you contributing to the equation? <laughs> I exist. Whatever, I need a girl's trip. <laughs> sure, man. My name is Van, and this left me speechless. Bravo. Do you have any tattoos? Like 12, I think. Why? That is good. My mom told me never to trust an unmarked van. All right, but I do have candy in the front seat for real. <laughs> hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. Uh, it's clever. I like it. We can learn a lot from r slash Tinder about normal human interactions and some not so normal human interactions. <laughs> uh, I hope they went on a date. I hope they vibed. Here is an absolute bullet dodged. I'm actually a very difficult person to connect with personality wise. So let's make this simple. Tell me something unique about yourself and why you think you're better than other potential candidates on here. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, Robin really out here acting like this is a mating ritual, right? You have to build the nest and dance for me. Nah, bitch, we ain't birds. I'm good. <laughs> uh, back away from that one. Plain and simple. How's that ever going to work? She probably wonders why she gets unmatched, too. <laughs> You're essentially walking up and being like, Hi, I I'm a maniac. Would you like to go on a date? Nah. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, we go from a feel-good bullet-dodging moment to a very sad moment. <laughs> this OP did catch the bullet. Second time I match with this girl, I don't get some people. We matched before, and I called you fat, and it shattered your small ego. Then why would you match with me again? To remind you that you're still a fatty. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let me tell you like this, girl. All the hair in the world isn't going to hide a jawline that looks like it can crack a chestnut. <laughs> Go ahead and choke that down for a minute. That's really what she wants you to come back with, you know? That's why she keeps matching, because once you get your nuts up, she's going to be like, oh my god, put your big fat babies in me. <laughs> uh, yes, they shall have a, a jawline like yours, my dear. They shall be masculine, boys. <laughs> well and penis. <laughs> uh, I'm really all one today, dude. I don't know what's happening anymore. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, boy, I sure do love online dating. <laughs> we all do. Makes the world go round. Feels like a human connection when it's not. And we can advertise to you. <laughs> uh, something really sus about this business model. And this woman's business model as well. Uh, she says, what do you do for a living? I'm a machine learning engineer. Aren't you unemployed? What do you do for a living? Yeah, I'm unemployed living on savings, but my profession is machine learning engineer. How much is your monthly salary? <laughs> uh, at least have a little more finesse, you know? It's the worst gold digger ever. She's like, how much gold you got in the bag? <laughs> uh, I want half. I existed near you. <laughs> I, I said I'm just living on my savings. I have money saved up that I'm living on. How much money do you have now? <laughs> Uh, she's just an evil prospector on a Tinder app. <laughs> uh, what do you do? Shut up. Buy me things. There's gold in them NAR accounts. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I'm not sure what to do here. Hey, do you all three ladies come together? I mean, if you're into that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> OP. Uh, outsourcing his game to Reddit. You, you didn't stand a chance, son. Very few of us do. This is just a test, okay? It's cleverly disguised as not a test. <laughs> but do know that this is a test. Made a Tinder account and put this as my profile picture. Tinder thinks my boobs are my friends. <laughs> I mean, aren't they? <laughs> Humongous hunger, longer, no, no, logongus. If they aren't, shouldn't they be? 
I think I rest my case. <laughs> New kind of guy just dropped. I know where the clitoris is. I just don't care. <laughs> uh, that's right, Logan. Y you ain't in it to win it. I don't know. I get there, maybe. I'll be super nonchalant. Pay for the little check mark on my Tinder profile, but I totally don't care. <laughs> I don't know who's buying it. I'm sorry it had to be this way, Logan. That's what I really want to say. Hey, look, there's Zoe. Impress me in one sentence. Go, crazy wacky emoji. Ha ha ha. Nah. <laughs> I love these, dude. Uh, these are my favorite. I'm not your fucking dancing monkey. Go away. <laughs> So there's nothing impressive about you crying laughing no not really uh what you got going on that's so impressive <laughs> damn dude i love it uh i have size g tits if that counts and then the original post title says yeah that counts <laughs> uh i exist and i grew these wow i guess we're just gonna let that one slide fellas fellas yeah, dude. Yes, precious. Yes, uh, absolutely. Yes, heathens. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Right you are, boy -o. I'm with the youngins. Yep, the fellas say it, it slides. It's fine. <laughs> Why am I even on Tinder? <laughs> uh, hey, big tits for a slim girl. <laughs> uh... Bold opener for a mediocre dude. <laughs> uh, I mean, you both put it so succinctly. Maybe in some universe you do belong together, you know? I probably shouldn't say that. That sounds like a fate worse than death for her. I mean, it's got some deliverance vibes, doesn't it? Hey, you got a pretty mouth. <laughs> uh, bad opener. J just, just wind it back. Spent a like just to send a message. What? You have to use likes, it's a currency now? I hate everything. Sarah says, All I ask is that you treat me like a princess. I will marry you to a foreign nobleman to ensure diplomatic relations with their country. <laughs> uh, worth it. Hey, I love having this invisible currency so I can shitpost everywhere online. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what Tendy Coins was trying to do, but somebody beat us to the mark on that one. What can I say? All right, moving on. I have this effect on women. Oh, impressive, OP. Show me your game. She says, okay, shoot. He says, what's the collective noun for frogs? Uh, I have no idea, unfortunately. It's an army of frogs. Did you know frogs have teeth? No way. No way. Yes way. <laughs> It's to hold prey in place on their upper jaw. Now that I've told you a frog fact, tell me something about yourself. Do you have autism? <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh, you cut me real deep, and yes. <laughs> the special interest is a bit too specific. Maybe he's a frog scientist guy. It gets really specific in these days and times. Tell me something you're passionate about so I can poop on it when you have too much knowledge of it. <laughs> uh, makeup, probably. I like your frog facts, OP. We don't have to be out here rizzed up, right? We could be a little tizzed up and <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> uh, a touch of the tism. They ain't never hurt nobody. I was not expecting this. <laughs> if you want a burger, then eat a burger. Yeah. If you want a fry? Get a fry. Get a fry. Core Vine memory. I do remember that. Vine was a magical time. <laughs> you want a side of punani with that burger? Damn, surf and turf. <laughs> oh my god! Can you eat poo like that? Uh, it seems like it's going well. How big is your weenie? I'm trying to go to Weenie Hut Jr. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Super Weenie Hut Jr. is the best I could do. Would you be mad if I had a weenie too? <laughs> is that a threat? No, what's the... Uh, Three. No. Two. No! Uh, that's good, Tori. You're nice and upfront about that. Either way you go on this, OP. I ain't mad at you. 
Couldn't be me though. Couldn't be me though. I'll say that much. <laughs> like I was promised surf and turf. This is clearly turf and turf. <laughs> uh, I was drunk when I sent this last night. <laughs> well, well, there's your problem. Doom tikoil yipichikomf. Ha ha ha! Hell yeah! <laughs> What does this mean? Do you want me to come over and eat your... Oh, thank you because of my followers, right? <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> uh, it was an answer in the affirmative, and I think that was the intended purpose, maybe. So hey, maybe drunk texting isn't so bad after all. <laughs> Are you sure about that? We should all try it out tonight. Oh, then we got Kate over here. She's 19. My boyfriend's penis is so small. So looking for a man that can satisfy me. Devil emoji. Oh, Kate. <laughs> you're a bitch. Uh, you're 19. I get your need to explore and whatnot. But if you're not getting what you need out of the relationship, then it's time to break up. Do the exploring without crushing another human being. Thanks so much. See? I was much nicer with that one. I didn't even talk about Kate's hands. <laughs> those those figures look like they're about to transform into fat girl figures. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I did it right at the end. Next time we'll get them. Next time we'll get them. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Life of a technician on dating apps. Yo, wanna fix my car though? Dude, why? Stop it. I take it all back. There's no normal human interactions here. Just a bunch of sociopaths trying to suss out what one person can do for the other without having to give anything in return. Right? <laughs> but OP, you know, heavy as the head, he just says, what's wrong with it? <laughs> the battery just keeps dying, but I got it checked and they said it was fine. It's probably your alternator. I don't know. If you replace it and it keeps dying, it'd be your alternator. And any mechanic shop in the world should have told you that. <laughs> uh. OP continues, it could also just be something goofy with the positive cable from the alt to the battery, so uh, check that too. Easy peasy. Oh, that's one that I wouldn't have considered. Thank you, car guy. <laughs> and she says, thank you. Ah, ha, 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 ha. What's funny, bitch? No problem. That's $85. <laughs> uh. Yes, for the diagnosis. Although, coffee would work too, though. Ha ha. This is text with threatening auras, isn't it? <laughs> uh, are we actually laughing right now? Because I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> OP, clearly not of a business mind, because he gave the information away for free. You say, we can discuss it over coffee, but don't just hand deliver. That's probably why she laughed. She evil! Every girl on Tinder, she evil! <laughs> uh, now people are going to be super mad. I met my wife on Tinder. Like, yeah, okay. She one of the good ones. How about that? <laughs> now everyone gather around. I want to introduce you to Bryn. <laughs> Bryn is five foot two. She's 32 and she's a graphic designer. <laughs> she's got some of the most hilarious pictures. The family photos with the not just a phase kids. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, the fake hairy chest and everything. Brinny and the Brin. Brinny and the Brin. <laughs> uh, of all the characters, why not? Look at this, I gave myself a fake mustache. What else do you want from me? <laughs> Family photo at the beach. Goth son. <laughs> Overexcited daughter. Uh, is she kind of bad too, though? Personality like that, she ain't gonna be on the market for long. <laughs> oh, look at this Splash Mountain one. The emo kid is having the most fun. <laughs> I love that. Uh, uh, she got a cat. She likes cats. I'm not a fan personally, but you know, <laughs> it's not a deal breaker for everybody. And then the Wonder Woman one. <laughs> uh, just really uh, quite well done, isn't it? She seems fun, dude. I, I hope you swipe right or you might be missing an opportunity. The only downside I can see is lives in Cincinnati. Ha ha, now you're in Ohio. <laughs> now you'll never leave Ohio. <laughs> uh, and that's terrifying to me. Uh-oh, and then Bryn's actually in the comments. Uh-uh-uh. All right, just back away slowly. Pretend we didn't say nothing, okay? <laughs> uh, it's fine. Have a nice life. Bye. Decided to clear things up today. I'm sure it's going to go well for you, OP. 
Uh, I usually go for fours, but I guess I'll settle for a nine. <laughs> I roll emoji. Winking emoji. I hope that's not your targeted age range. Eyebrow raising emoji. <laughs> nine one one. Officer, right there. FBI, Come on, in, fella. Oh shit! I walked right into that. You did say you'd ruined my pickup line. Do I need to try another one? Laura, I ate a pedo. <laughs> Congratulations, you played yourself. Uh, Laura's just out here to have some fun, I think. This wasn't ever a, a social situation that you could have won. She let you know that she wanted to ruin your day, and you're like, sure, go for it. How bad could it be? Now all of Reddit knows you're here. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Well, that's not terrifying at all. Meet William, 45, looking for short-term fun. Six foot two, 255 pounds, highly experienced, and I like fruit and vegetables. Uh, you're a robot, aren't you? <laughs> I like fruit and vegetables, highly experienced at human experience. <laughs> One day, I'll be the most known serial killer of all time. We'll primarily focus on women in their 20s and 30s. For now, you're all safe, and, and I'm safe to date for the time being. Have a great day, and best of luck to you girls. Stay safe. Is this your attempt at humor? <laughs> Please never do this. I get dark humor. I'm a fan of dark humor. This... It feels like it doesn't really even toe the line. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna kill people! Okay, bye. Uh, okay, scenario. We meet in person at a coffee shop. You can either A, kiss me, or B, kiss me. <laughs> what would you do? Can I get my coffee first? <laughs> <laughs> Women. <laughs> These are the best responses, bar none. No, Spencer. Well, why are we in a coffee shop then? <laughs> what the hell is this interaction? Disappointed mother and teenage son vibes is what I'm getting here. <laughs> I just wanted a frappuccino, gosh. And of course she unmatched right after this, but you know what? Maybe that's for the best. Maybe it's for the best. Another one, she unmatched, shrug emoji. Hey, cutie, I'm selling videos and pictures. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. You should be doing that on OnlyFans, not dating apps. No! Well, that's what this site is for. This is for, like, you know, dating. Like I was hoping to take you out and use my wit and charm to eventually see you naked. If I wanted to go the other route, I'd just go to the other site. <laughs> Uh, cost you less too. Price of a Whopper at Burger King. God forbid I'm trying to make a human connection out here. <laughs> Speaking of human connections, meet Jay, a small business owner from University of Florida. Jay is vivacious at 34 years old. She's a Sagittarius, based, non-smoker, meh, master's degree, drinks on special occasions, and she is a pescatarian. Mental health awareness, dog lover, cat lover, DIY. Florida native, not looking for hookups or anything of that nature. Never married, no kids. Seems to me like this could work out. You give her the old swipe a roo and <laughs> slide into the DM saying, so what kind of small business do you own? That's not a topic I'll speak on until I'm more acquainted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, she's trying to make sure you're not a gold digger this time, I guess. Okay, then what topic would you like to speak about? Lol, that's all you can come up with. OP comes in with the clap back. <laughs> with a profile as generic as yours, I pick the only thing which could start a conversation, which you shot down. Have a nice day. <laughs> uh, laying it down quite flat. These dudes on Tinder not taking no shit, and I love to see it. As far as the question in the topic of these pictures, did I do something wrong here? Nah, dude. <laughs> What else were you gonna do? I don't want to sling accusations around, but I think it's pretty safe to assume that Jay is into some sort of MLM. 
<laughs> Have you ever heard of essential oils? <laughs> All right, a match. That's fine. I'm literally at a loss for words here. Your spider tat's awesome. Did you design that yourself? Yeah, it's my work. That's dope. You're super talented. Do you do commissions? I actually don't do art at all anymore. Oh, gotcha. Any reason why or just stop doing it? My girlfriend killed herself. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that really take took a turn, didn't it? I mean, that really got out of hand fast. How did we get here and how do we go back? <laughs> there is no going back. OP just says, do you still want to keep talking? Because I don't really know where to go now. <laughs> uh, so blatantly honest at the end. I love it. All right, on to the next post. Uh, this isn't what I expected them to say. Camellia. Camellia? Who cares? <laughs> Your bio says no one can handle me. I know I could handle you. Cause I'm party demon, whoa! Especially after a couple cold Miller lights. <laughs> uh, she says, probably not, lol. OP says, what's so crazy about you? I stabbed my ex three times in two seconds. Almost four times, he backed up in time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no! Uh. Is this total legbeard status, right? I teleported behind him. I was like, oh my, wamo shinderu! And he said, nani? And I was like, you baka. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? This sounds like a story that an eight-year-old child that was trying to be really badass would say, right? I almost stabbed him like 18 times, but he backed up in time, so he was lucky. Psh, totally would got him. <laughs> Uh, grow up. All right, here's our last post for the day. That was forward, because you always want to end on a high note, you right? <laughs> <laughs> so Chloe says, come get that ass ate, respectfully. <laughs> uh, we're big on respect around here. Uh, mine, respectfully, would rather eat your ass. Oh, everybody's too embarrassed to let somebody do it. Do it! It'll change your life! Just do it! Have a nice shower and let's be adults about this. I'm pretty sure it's a two-way street. <laughs> uh, although this is how you get hepatitis, so I don't know. Probably not with somebody I just met, but <laughs> whatever. Oh, sweet little man. I can take care of you, love. I'm not sure you want to. I am a hairy man. I want to enter the jungle. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's all right, like... Uh, now possibilities are creeping into your mind, aren't they, OP? Yes. We're going to have some experiences, aren't we? Yes. That's great. Like I said, it's just going to change your life. <laughs> uh, I do worry a bit for, for Chloe's self-esteem and stuff like that, but I don't know. Maybe OP is just a stud. Then again, no matter how studly OP is, I'm sure she once she gets that like post nut clarity, she's gonna be like, "Oh my God, what have I done?" <laughs> uh, you know how it be sometimes. Maybe you don't. Whatever. <laughs> Either way, I'd like you to like, comment, and or subscribe on the video if it pleased you in some way. Tinder speed run. Left, 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 right. I think that was Tato Ferret. Oh my God, my senses are honed. Ooh, 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 whoa. Dan super liked you. Wow. Good for Dan. Hey, Emily. How's life? Hey, Dan. I mean, we know it's Dan, Emily. <laughs> life is definitely something. How about yours? It's good. Just wish I had a fat girl to share it with. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with that, Emily? He likes big girls. He knows he likes them big. That's a W. We take those. Don't talk yourself out of true happiness just because the boy knows what he likes. First message, I don't hate it. Thomas says, I'm at Whole Foods, you need anything? <laughs> it's pretty good, honestly. I think that Thomas might be a Whole Foods advertising representative. And now that this has started trending on r slash Tinder, everybody's going to start doing it and Whole Foods will take over the world. What a crazy timeline that would be, huh? 
Why is everyone so fucking stupid? I don't know, Darren. You tell me, Darren. I work for myself. Yeah, that's nice. I work for a non-profit, but I get unlimited paid time off and work remotely. Sick. <laughs> How do you make money? By working. Well, for a non-profit? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't understand that nonprofits can have employees. Okay, we're functioning not for profit. Not that we don't sometimes make a profit. Then you make a profit, you donate it. Wh why do I have to spell this out for you, Darren? And Google right there? <laughs> uh, so they still pay, they just don't make money. Yes. <laughs> do you know what a nonprofit is? <laughs> uh, he doesn't. He truly doesn't. I'm already not fond of Darren's. So I'm gonna be real with you, but you just mess it up for everybody, Darren. Being ignorant, that's fine, but there's no excuse for remaining ignorant, okay? Huh, <sighs> should I press send? I don't care. Do what you want, Charming C. I can't live your life for you. How about that? <laughs> God, I'm in a mood now. Darren's put me off my breakfast. Uh, your cat looks so cute and grumpy. Good, we're playing poker with the family. Oh, that cat passed away recently. He was the best cat ever. And then there's like a uh, playing poker with the family picture. And OP wants to say, I'm so sorry to hear about your loss. That must be tough. How are you hold them up? <laughs> I definitely said that, dude. That's hilarious. Obviously, he's not taking it too seriously. Because around, hey, my cat died. There's also a poker game going on. So I think it's fine to send. I'm gonna okay this one, OP. Good luck. Hashtag dating so fun. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, on the way, oh, what's your ETA? I'll leave it now, only five minutes away. Are you here? I just parked. Are you at the bar? Yeah, I don't like waiting. <laughs> well, I'm in here now. Where are you? <laughs> uh, hello? I don't like waiting. Okay, this ain't gonna work out. Nobody here likes waiting. <laughs> I already left. Didn't seem like you cared about my time. What? <laughs> Deuces. Are you serious? I was 10 minutes late. I was trying to get ready and walk my dog. Jesus, I I'm sorry. I hope that was a sarcastic I'm sorry. Cause this dude needs no apology whatsoever, okay? What do you want to bet he didn't even show up? <laughs> Although, consider that he might be one of those 15 minutes early people, you know? And by that point, he'd been waiting for 30 minutes? Like, I, I guess I could see it. But yeah, there's no way this one's getting pulled back around. They're both gonna hate each other forever! Come across each other in dating apps for years and say, You're that person I hate! <laughs> uh, the, the dude says, You've been home all day. I worked a full day and got there five minutes in advance. Oh, five minutes. But I don't know, quarter of an hour? Ask me how much money I make in a quarter of an hour. It might be tens of dollars. <laughs> uh, I was being polite. Oh my god. I had dinner with my kids and I left early so I could meet you there. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find someone else. I can't believe this. She really is heartbroken. But please don't be because you, you just dodged a bullet. Like 20 bullets, just a flat cannon of red flags, okay? You can't wait for the, the 15 minutes it takes a girl to get there. I guess you're well within your rights to do that. But this isn't gonna lead to a, a healthier or functional relationship, especially not for that dude. He's been taking those alpha male seminar classes, you know? <laughs> it's not good for your brains, okay? I think Darren took some too, oh my god. <laughs> uh, I really do feel bad for OP, having dinner with the kids and leaving early and all, but Hey, it's a hard knock life. And yeah, again, I don't think you're missing out on all that much. Breedable waifu is the grossest phrase I've ever seen in a bio. Jesus, why is that in someone's bio? <laughs> uh, 510, eight miles away. Oh, that's far too close. Looking for a long-term partner. Need breedable waifu. No liberals and no fat. <laughs> You two want to get married in my church. You'll stop breaking the ninth commandment. Uh, no fat chicks? Thou shalt not lie. <laughs> With fat chicks? You kill me. You kill me. Uh, it's a troll account, right? Lifestyle early bird? 
Yeah, that means staying up until 6 in the morning. <laughs> Stay up till I see the sun, then I go to bed. And honestly, I'd have some camaraderie with him about that. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling myself an early bird. But I could never high-five this dude. If this is a real person, it's probably like one of the grossest people you've ever seen. <laughs> uh, I wish they would have included the picture. Why not, right? Oh, well. We'll get him next time. <laughs> I guess everyone has their own requirements. Ain't that the truth? About me, I'm five foot eight, one seven three. You must be at least six foot. I don't want a delusional clown in my DMs expecting a hookup. <laughs> Spoilers, it's exactly what she she's looking for. She's gonna list out all these requirements and then at the end she'll shrug her shoulders and be like, eh, I could settle on basically everything anyways. <laughs> Uh, have a car, have a job, be around the age of 25 or 30. I want you to be an established man who will pay for everything. No such thing as 50-50. Okay, so you pay for the first one and I'll pay for the second one, right? <laughs> There's not going to be a second date. Uh, smart, dedicated, and respectful, especially towards women. I will not come to you. I expect you to be happy to come to my place or anywhere else I go. You're looking for, like, a bum boy to hold your handbag with a little dog in it, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I'm not interested in any of this. I have high standards, and you have to meet them. Marriage with me must be your goal. No room for uncertainty. Clear? Jesus Christ, what a mess. Uh... That is like one of the most concerning profiles that I think was written in earnest <laughs> that I've seen in a long time. It's one of those about me sections where they specify everything about their partner instead of anything about themselves. What did we get out of this about her? I'm five foot eight and I'm entitled to everything. <laughs> That's it. Uh, not interested. Am I doing this right? Uh, nobody is. It's fine. Just keep going. <laughs> Zoe says... One thing I'd like to know about you is your favorite Taylor Swift song. And OP says, yeah, that, that one about her breakup. <laughs> uh, seems right enough to me, honestly. That will do. Trying to tell myself it's a canon event. Hey, I think I know who you are. You're that hot guy that cooks and does MMA. Hell yeah, he is. Check him out. He's Omar. 22 is self-employed. She's chasing you down on Snapchat? <laughs> uh, all right. Well, you're basically in there, fella. OP says, yeah, you're spot on. I wasn't sure if I was hot enough to add your snap. Haha. <laughs> uh, maybe deserve then. Also, I do boxing, not MMA. Getting kicked doesn't sound that fun. Not gonna lie. And she says, sexy. When do you want to hang? <laughs> Dude, she's all about it. <laughs> she's not listening to a word you're saying. The only thing she could hear is her, her snail trail. <laughs> okay. Now I'm wet. <laughs> OP says, hey, uh, free Saturdays or most evenings next week. Also, I'm kind of short. Is that all right? How tall are you? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> OP says, I'm five foot six. She's like, I'm five eight. It's not gonna work. Sorry. OP says, no worries. <laughs> Dude, she was down. Uh, but I guess, yeah, you're wasting less time, I suppose. Maybe you could have wore some platform shoes with lifts in them. You can get yourself up another three, four inches without looking too weird, right? I believe in you, Omar. Come on, you just let it slip through your fingers! <laughs> uh, oh well. Back to base. We'll get them next time, boys. <laughs> uh, Apparently asking questions about a common interest isn't really chatting. Oh, what did I do wrong? <laughs> I gotta say, I love the name user Roleplay Dwarf. <laughs> uh, I'm inclined to believe that you're a rather cool dude. And she's projecting her own insecurities of being boring onto you. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, OP says, hi. I see in your profile you like live music too. Who did you last see live? I saw Bastille last Sunday at Powderham. Got the silent disco at Powderham. 
It's probably Powderham. It's not Wilkingtonshire. It's Wilkingtonshire. <laughs> uh, it beats the orchestra in a couple months. Big ones were Killers in Bristol and Skunk and NC in Bristol last year. Got a very wide taste of music, X. Oh, I think that's the kiss thing at the end of the message that all the Euros do, isn't it? Truth is, I don't know any of these artists, okay? <laughs> uh, like, you want to drop some LSD and go watch a Motley Crue cover band? <laughs> uh, that's my date proposition for you, okay? We're going to learn a lot about each other. We're going to end up trying to fuck or kill each other at the end of this. <laughs> Come to death. Uh, uh, OP just says, yeah, it looks like it keeps you busy, though, so that's great. I've not seen as many as you went to see. The Cure in December, just gone the offspring in the December before that, both in Leeds, where I'm originally from. Is Bristol down here the best place for live music? Um, you sort of just go out and enjoy live music, yawn. Was nice not chatting to you. <laughs> See? Before I even read the message, I called this one out for what it was. She knows she's a, a boring, hollow husk of a human being with no personality. That's why she's latched onto all these different bands. Like somehow you can buy a personality. God, I would love to tear apart her about me. Can you show me her about me, <laughs> OP? <laughs> uh, I just wanted to see if it, there's any possibility I would have matched. OP defends himself saying, look, I'm just new to the area and I don't know where it's good for stuff like that. I do other things too. Just asking because I saw it was something we had in common. She says, It's not really chatting, though. My opinion on band or venue is an opinion. Go out and experience your own stuff. All the best. Yes, why would we ever have these experiences if not to exchange them with each other? God, she's hateable. Don't worry about it, roleplay dwarf. You can take that tab of acid and come with me to the Motley Crue concert if you want. Just if you want. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> uh... Uh, I don't think my sarcasm translates over message. It's not just yours, dude. Basically, nobody can really do sarcasm in text. Unless you're constantly sarcastic in video format and people join your Discord over at discord.gg slash redx, R-E-D-D-X. So yes, let's see that sarcasm. Oh, Harry says, I'm a slut for a sunset. And OP says, my nickname happens to be Sunset. That's a stripper nickname. <laughs> uh, Harry just says, shit, is this fate? You have impeccable genetics. <laughs> Ew. Uh, yes, thank you. Your DNA doesn't look defective either. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, OP says, oh, no. My boobs are fake, actually. It's a strong use of sarcasm. I guess it's implied that she got small boobs or something like that. And then Harry's like, oh, I was talking about your face. <laughs> you got Insta? Oh, Harry. He's not very bright, is he? <laughs> but maybe you two could just go enjoy each other's impeccable genetics. Nothing wrong with that, I do suppose. Surely this is the road to true happiness? I don't know what to tell you, man. It looks a little bit different for everybody, okay? At least some of you get one word replies. I'm still at half a word. Wow, is that an elephant? I was told it was a dog. No wonder they kept yelling, this is a zoo and you can't ride that and where are you going with that elephant at me when I adopted it? She. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you didn't leave a, a whole lot of room. Ask her to come over and bathe the elephant. Do you hear me? He doesn't hear me. He's not responding. Hello? Okay, well, if you ever get this message, <laughs> ask her if she wants to wash the elephant. If she starts talking about uh, cleansing the trunk, then you're in. <laughs> uh, That's all I know. That's all I can do for him. We're moving on. And this is why my age limit is now 25 plus. Hey, girl, you feeling like penis tonight? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> Get your hand off my penis! Uh... I gotta come over and, and, and get the, the uncool three-way started. <laughs> OP just says, Feeling like raising my age requirement on this hellscape of an app. Why even continue to use it? Why not just go out in the real world and, and mingle with some people and see what happens, you know? Like it's his fault that he just wants to offer you some penis tonight. 
<laughs> uh, I don't know if it's just the use of that phrase that makes me want to go to bat for him. I just keep thinking of that scene at the beginning of Mrs. Doubtfire where he pretends he's a hot dog or something. I do a great impression of a hot dog. <laughs> I love being a woman dating women. No small talk. Let's go straight to making out. I like your style. I'm free Saturday night. Okay, weird flex. Just you watch, OP. Just you watch. You're going to show up and you're both going to be men pretending to be women online. You've been having cyber lesbian sex for the last seven months with another dude. True story. Saw a 4chan green text about it. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. <laughs> uh, and next one. One of the best bios I've seen. Instant right swipe from me. About me, I identify as a potato. I like to be baked and smashed. <laughs> We're going to be talking about the pussy. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much a vibe, isn't it? I don't know about instant right swipe. Let's not be too hasty, okay? I gotta see the, the pitches first. But it does win some strong points, I, I'll give him that. I guess ice cream dates are considered a terrible idea nowadays. Hey, this is Vance. Hi. Hope you had a good day. I'm excited for tomorrow. I could pick you up, but if you're not comfortable with that, we could just meet there. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like getting some ice cream in this hot weather. <laughs> Lol. Sorry if this might come off as rude, but I don't do ice cream dates. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, really? <laughs> I'm a 26 year old woman and a date like that <laughs> seems like the absolute bare minimum for me. Meeting up would be a waste of both of our times since we probably don't have the same vibe. Best wishes. Cool. <laughs> uh, bare minimum is great on the first date. That's why people go to the coffee shop because it only costs you a few bucks and you can walk away. Ice cream cones are even more portable than coffee. I think it should be the next stereotypical first date. That's what I would like to see. Matching with your friends on Tinder. Poopy poopy poop butt. <laughs> Fuck. Ram Ranch by Grant McDonald. Poppy cop butt poo. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Yo, Tinder gave me the option to report you, so I did. <laughs> and I said, act of terrorism. No, you didn't. <laughs> Dude, that is hilarious. <laughs> they both are into each other, though. I say that with confidence. Uh, two childhood friends. One unlikely meeting. In theaters this holiday season. Poopy poopy poop butt. <laughs> <laughs> Just take my money. That's fine. Dude, I hope you really did report your friend though. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, if I ruin her chances at love now by calling her a terrorist, she'll have to date me. It's the biggest brain plays only around here. All right. Uh, this OP says, I saw my chance and I took it. As well you should. I'm so glad we matched. Your photos are so funny. Not the adjective I generally like to hear, but okay. <laughs> I'm glad we matched. Your photos are so cute. Yeah, that's, that's what most people like to hear. Thanks. Unfortunately, I can't teach you how to play Dungeons and Dragons, but uh, we can figure it out together. Oh, yeah, Dungeons and Dragons, nobody knows anything about it, but somehow everybody plays it. I watched Stranger Things one time, too. Get out of my hobby! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's something deep down in there. I've been hurt just a couple times before. <laughs> uh, OP says, that would be fun. We could learn to scuba dive, too. Well, one requires buying thousands of dollars worth of equipment. The other involves buying a, a rather expensive couple of books. <laughs> uh, okay, you seem super fun. I'm definitely down to learn how to scuba dive. Oh, good. I've always wanted to explore Mar Marina's Trench. Oh, Marina, like, ha, huh? it sounds like Marianus. How about Marin Anus Trench? Something like that? But you don't want to get a uh, doodle on your dong? That's fine. That's fine, man. You do you. I don't think she ever hit him back anyway. You probably should have gotten the full nut. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I can't live your life for you. 
calling for all men to make a stand. Hashtag not your personal army. <laughs> but let's see what you got to say. Uh, I'm walking to the restaurant. Okay, I'm at the bar, sitting alone at the corner in a blue shirt. I'm headed home. <laughs> you don't look like your profile pics at all. If you have more recent pics, I wouldn't even have cared. I'm just tired of the false representation on the apps. Have a good one, and I wish you luck. Wow, thanks. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, I guarantee you this is a situation where both of them will walk away and be like, I was the good person in that interaction. The other person was the bad person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I sort of agree with both of you, but there was also a better way to handle it from both ends, so I don't know. Better luck next time, maybe, who cares? <laughs> a true gentleman. This is John. He's 31. You look like you'd be fun to toss around after some drinks. Not appropriate. <laughs> Lol, it, it's Tinder. Get over yourself, you vapid whore. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I had such high hope for you, John, and it was just dashed to the ground. I think the only answer here is to fight fire with fire. Go ask John when leg day is. <laughs> Never? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I see you, John. I see you out here walking around on a couple of bendy straws. <laughs> uh, uh, what a delightful young man. This is Nathan. He's 21. Probably better than John. Maybe. <laughs> I'm out here to fuck. <laughs> uh, all right, 21, I, I expect as much. Curvy girls are the best. Love a girl with some decent tits. Not interested in anyone that slept with every guy they met. I'm also turned on by some dark shit. Also not wearing a condom. <laughs> oh God. Uh, if you send Nathan a super like and attach a message, you'll increase your chances of getting a match by up to 25%. Yeah, what a, what an opportunity. <laughs> uh, you don't want to let that one pa pass you by, do you? Uh, <laughs> like, you sort of want to ask about the dark shit, but not really. You frequent some sites on the internet that would get you arrested, don't you, Nathan? On top of that, you've also got to love the logic of like, yeah, you can't slip with every dude you met, but you just met me, you gotta, you gotta bang me, because <laughs> I'm only here to bang. <laughs> uh, you stupid. I don't know how you got this stupid. It's not too late to turn this video around, in theory, but it seems like we're headed to some dark places. <laughs> uh, is this really necessary? I don't know, user cow says hi, is it? <laughs> how short? Five foot one, lol. Ugh, you trouble. Why? Because you're small and portable, like a pocket puss. Ugh. Ew. Oh, God. <laughs> you also frequent some sites on the internet that would get you arrested, don't you? He likes the fact that she's that short. Like, that's the main selling point for him. You're gross. You are a gross human being. I don't know you personally, I can't say we get you up against the wall right now, but at least the boots, at least a few boots. There's 25,000 of us here, if we all kick them once, they can't send us all to jail, right? <laughs> and like if we all do go to jail, it's kind of like this big Red X compound party, I bet it'd be awesome. Nobody would stab each other, we'd just all get along and sing Kumbaya, feed Lord Red X some peeled grapes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the jail that I want to go to. Then the comment section's going up. I don't usually share the comments, but I've been trying to look down there just a little bit. And this the West started this, this is too good. <laughs> I wonder how many poets live unobtrusively between us. Shall I compare thee to a pocket punani? Thou art less rubbery. Rough hands to chafe thine shaft in May and lube makes too short a date. Thou shalt cometh in thy handkerchief. Haste not, ye sourpuss. <laughs> Sometimes Reddit comments are pretty cool. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, every once in a while they get me. Uh, what's your favorite animal? And Chris says, what's your favorite animal? <laughs> Cat. Mine too. We should bang. Gross. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Uh, you gotta hit him with something obscure. Flamingo is what I usually go with. It's like the only pink animal. 
I think it is my favorite animal. I sure do love some panky pank. Not in a weird way. Not in a weird way, though. <laughs> uh, apparently, it's immature and pathetic to not want kids and not be married by 30. Any guesses why she's single? If your profile says never married, no kids, you sound immature and pathetic. Swipe left if you're clearly stuck in your 20s. Girl mom with two daughters. No, not girl mom. Girl mom implies you're also stuck in your 20s. Do you think having children makes you mature? It's an experience that will try to mature you, yes. But it's not like this inherent thing that makes you better than everybody else because you've heaved another human being out of your body. It's impressive, I'll give you that. But it doesn't bestow the sort of status you think it does. Such a weird post. This is just a weird lady. Let me tell you that. <laughs> uh, not to pile on or anything, but I'm pretty sure there's a reason that he left. He wanted to stick around for the kids, but... At a certain point, the, the crazy becomes too much. <laughs> I can understand that, I suppose. Oh, here's a good one. Is this the new milady? Uh, those eyes. Those are what kings go to war over. What the f- <laughs> uh, That is the motivation that entices men to face titans and win. I would face the Cerberus himself. To see the smile on your eyes. Oh, Reed, what? What? <laughs> uh, he definitely had a game plan here. I I'm not too sure if it worked out all that well. I guess not. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing in the comments that it might be a Hercules reference. But I don't know. Somebody let Reed know that that movie didn't perform very well at the box office. It might be a bit too deep of a cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus, it, it does have strong milady vibes. We need to change that intro up ASAP. Somebody matched with Hannah, who has a I'm gay spray paint with like angel wing, maybe something. She's 20. Definitely don't have Bob's Burgers tattoos. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a choice you can make. <laughs> Pleasure to have in class. I'm four foot ten, so I heart short kings and tall kings. And OP matches and sends the why are you gay gif. He says this will either work extremely well or backfire hard. I guess all that depends how deeply she delves into internet culture. She might be like a normal human being that doesn't get it. Although there are less and less of those these days. She's young. She, she was raised online, wasn't she? I mean, whatever. I hope it goes well for you. I hope you find true happiness. But I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this one with a big I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, saved me a lot of time. All right. Quality about me for sure. Incoming. This is somebody who's 29, uh, six foot three inches about me. Six foot three inches. Yeah, you put a lot of stock into that, don't you? <laughs> uh, that's not the first thing that I do to introduce myself. Hello, my name is uh, Brandon Dayton. People call me Red X. A lot. I'm six foot two, by the way. Six foot two, big man, super strong, can lift heavy stuff. Okay. <laughs> Uh, here's the date idea. We meet for drinks. I arrive 30 minutes late, reeking of marijuana. <laughs> uh, well, he's kind of got my number, honestly. <laughs> I only talk about myself, and the few words you get in, I mock you relentlessly for. I order the goofiest IPA on the menu and act smug about drinking IPAs. I see some friends and go talk to them, leaving you by yourself. When your patience runs thin and you head out the door, I bolt over and give you a half-assed apology, and then ask you for a ride home. <laughs> okay, cool. It is a decent strategy to set the expectations so low that when you perform like a, an actual human being, everybody goes, wow, great job. <laughs> uh, I, I've seen this strategy. I've employed this strategy before. But yeah, basically the only thing uh, dude's got going for him is that he's six foot three. So I guess, yeah, put that the, at the beginning of the about me, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, how do I not fuck this up? I'm gonna be real with you. Probably you will, but it's gonna be all right. Let's see what happens. OP says, uh, excuse me. You need a license to be that cute. Uh, you're way over the legal limit. Uh, I'm gonna have to see some registration. Cop car emoji, siren emoji. Wow, totally buttery smooth. Not cliche at all, OP. You're in there! <laughs> uh, 
Uh, she says, no registration, no insurance officer. Please, isn't there anything I can do to let this fly under the radar? Just tell her, put my dick in your mouth. Like, <laughs> uh, I don't understand what... You've got the job! Stop overthinking it! Vacation House outweighs this being creepy. About me, couples profile. This is a couple profile. 41 male, 23 female. Already these alarms going off. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, we are experienced at this and looking for a regular situationship slash friend. Please be a awesome as us. Referring to yourself as awesome, gigantic, huge age gap. I don't trust the goddamn word that comes out of your mouth. <laughs> uh, if you are, we'll take you on vacation. We have a vacation home in Sicily. Well, technically too. Yeah, you'll be staying in the basement. <laughs> uh, it's an ensuite. It's got manacles on the wall. You'll love it. <laughs> we travel across the US a lot. Beaches trips almost monthly. Neither of us have ever visited an opium den. <laughs> Uh, well, that's reassuring. <laughs> uh, do you want to visit an opium den? Because uh, opium, I, I hear that stuff is like the bee's knees. <laughs> uh, my dream job is being independently wealthy. Yeah, that means not having a job. This is so creepy, dude, but I don't know. Trip to Sicily. You could see all the graffiti and dog poo in Italy. <laughs> Uh, oh, great. I'm so excited. No, but for real, you will end up ground up into little tiny pieces and, and put in the buckets, right? Left, 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 left. Oh, I'm swiping right. Our first post is from Facebook Dating. I tried on Facebook Dating, but you can't do anything with this. I'm getting CEO vibes here. Okay, fun. Okay, lol. <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, from you. Uh, that picture looks like you mean business, lol. In a good way. I do. God, this is already a train wreck. <laughs> I'm unmatching. I don't have to explain myself. Uh, what industry are you in? Airport. <laughs> uh, yeah, haha. -ha. I, I feel like I spend too much time in those things these days. Oh, yeah? Y you do too? Yeah? <laughs> what do you have planned for this weekend? <laughs> Drinking? <laughs> uh, about as one dimensional as it gets, aren't you? Allie, I, I would like to get to know you, but I can't if you're just going to give one word replies. Okay. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. Uh, and then they unmasked. Oh, it could have been a happily ever after. You could have started day drinking together, yelling at old women in the park. It would have been beautiful. But oh well, next post. This is the hottest take on gender roles that I've ever heard from a woman. She probably misses the early 1900s. For context, she asked for food and foot rubs, and I said, let's split the bill, because we're equals, but I will gladly rub your feet. I mean, I take care of my wife, and I'm glad to do it. The thing that you gotta suss out in a situation like this is, are you looking at a trad wife that's down for the cause, or are you looking at a tarred wife that's just out for a free meal? And frankly, you gotta know someone longer than a couple days to really determine that. But OP says, yeah, are you okay with that? The splitting of the bill, I mean. Uh, that's all still on the table, especially the foot rubs, lol. I'm just curious. You foot man, OP, that's what's going on? We act like they don't, but they do. I mean, that's what's so fucking cool about it. Oh, we're equals? Why wouldn't we be? No, we're not. I'm old fashioned. I don't even vote, cause I don't think women should be equal. <laughs> we mean, okay. <laughs> I have known women like this, I will say that. But they were all like a hell of a homemaker. The first date would be, I'll cook food and we'll go on a picnic. So propose that to her. Request beef wellington and apple pie and see how deep her motivation to be a homemaker actually goes. <laughs> uh, OP says, uh, are you joking? <laughs> uh, it's like so out of his frame of reference, cause you're not supposed to think this way. 
Well, I don't know. I, I can agree with the dude supporting his woman, as long as the woman supports the man in the ways that he needs to be supported to continue supporting the woman. You know what I mean? As far as the voting thing, I mean, that's farcical anyways. <laughs> Go ahead and vote if you want. It doesn't actually matter. So yeah, OP <laughs> asks if she's joking, and she says, Do you think that I am? I, I really hope so. <laughs> Why do you say that? You don't agree that the man should lead and take care of everything? About now is the point where <laughs> OP just soy faces so hard that his jaw falls off of his face, right? I love this comment from Happy Topioka Surprise. It's the Uncle Ruckus of women. <laughs> Boy, the sound of that whip show is sweet. It's like Jesus gently snapping his fingers. <laughs> Uh, that's about the best we could do. That's our compulsory boondocks reference for the day. Now we gotta get the hell on. OP says, this is one of the more interesting conversations that I've had. Well, then you definitely haven't watched the Praying Mantis video with my wife and I, have you? OP says, hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm good. And yourself, blushing emoji. I'm doing okay, just lounging around right now, laughing face with tears. W for what? <laughs> what are you up to? What do you do in your spare time? I uh, hope you'll talk to me. I, I need someone. You're beautiful, by the way. God, this is already just a dumpster fire. I can't. I can't with all of this. Uh, usually just watch TV because I work a lot during the week, but I also game and go to the beach when I can. How about you? Also, thank you, hearts emoji. <laughs> You're welcome. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear would be dying. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a pretty common one, I guess. I like gaming, listening to music, watching YouTube, science and astronomy, technology, the gym, and traveling. <laughs> Do you want to know something cool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, blow my mind. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a pretty big fear. I also don't like spiders or heights. Sure, what's something cool? I uh, don't know whether you'll find this weird or cool, but I heard a shrink ray was in development. Yeah, I saw a documentary called Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> it's amazing. It'll shrink people down to the size of an ant. Uh, imagine being that small. Would you shrink anyone? What do you think? Oh, it's, it's a giantess kind of vor whatever. I know where this is going almost immediately. And really, I sort of sensed it even when he was acting like a little worm and being like, I need someone. <laughs> it ain't gonna be me, pally. But OP says, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I don't think I'd shrink people, but maybe things as long as I could unshrink them. Uh, how would you react if you accidentally shrunk me and I was frantically running on your floor? Would I end up dying laughing face with tears again for no reason? You guys are both really- for even engaging in this, I, I would be out already. I have seen the depths of the internet, I know how bad this can get! OP says, probably not. <laughs> Why would you even think that? I'd be tiny, you might accidentally step on me! Do her feet have to be stinky? Does that make it better for you? I, I know it does. <laughs> You're not saying much! I hope I'm not bothering you. Sorry if I'm weird. I'm just being myself. Yeah, well, maybe save that for a little bit later into the conversation, huh? <laughs> this is my pro tip for you. OP says, uh, you're not a bother at all. I just woke up, so I'm a bit sleepy still. My thoughts are not fully forming yet. I don't know, man, maybe that's what he's banking on, because if your neurons were firing in the same fashion that mine are, you, you would be running for the hills, even at this point. He continues saying, It's okay, beautiful. I mean, if I'm shrunk right now, where would you put me? <laughs> God, dude. Uh, would you be talking to me? I could clean your teeth for you. <laughs> Crying laughing emoji. And then he's gonna be like, Oh, what if you accidentally swallowed me? Told me how delicious I am as, as I'm being turned into poop. You think I haven't seen these things before? You keep yourself internet poisoned long enough and, yeah, you, you pick some stuff up. <laughs> OP says, uh, that depends. If you accidentally shrunk, I probably wouldn't notice for a bit. If it was purposeful, I'd definitely have to put you somewhere away from my cat. 
Maybe like a little dollhouse or something. <laughs> uh, it's not going the direction that he wants it to go, and I love it. Yes, put him in a little pink Barbie dress. Make him play tea party. <laughs> well, this is about me being accidentally shrunk by you. So you know I'm shrunk, darling. <laughs> Far too familiar. Fuck off with that. <laughs> I can help clean your teeth or check if there's anything in your eyes. What do you think? I think you're a sad, strange little man. I think that this is your fantasy because you feel this small in real life, and I think that's really sad. I think that you could do better things with your time, such as self-improvement, instead of annoying people on Bumble, I think this is. OP says, if it's an accident, I wouldn't necessarily know right away. I guess it just depends how it happens. And I think I can manage the teeth cleaning on my own, lol. Oh no, his erection's gone away immediately. <laughs> he really wants to clean your teeth. <laughs> yes, but you might get stuff in them. I could pull it out if anything got stuck. I'd be stuck like that once I'm shrunk, so you'd probably have to put me out of my misery since it'll be unfair to keep me like that. Dude, he wants to be- I'm telling you, he can't come out and say it. Somehow I think just saying it would be less weird than this exercise in futility. The LP doesn't even really understand what you're trying to get at. OP says, well, I wouldn't necessarily have to end you. You could probably live a good life like that. I could just get you a little dollhouse and you could chill. <laughs> uh, oh, my dream to live in a Barbie house with no plumbing. You're going to have to clean up rat sized human turds out of that dollhouse. <laughs> Uh, the weirdo says, if you had to do it, what would be the quickest way, do you think? OP says, what? <laughs> uh, put me out of my misery. What will be the quickest way? Just so you know, none of this is sexual. I do have a reason for it, but don't want to be judged. Dude, <laughs> you totally just blown your cover. <laughs> uh, she wasn't thinking that at all, and she says as much. I didn't think that it was, Lamau. I'd say the quickest way would probably be to, like, smoosh you like a bug? I don't know. Oh, smoosh me like a bug! Ah. <laughs> uh, would you let me run on your floor one last time? Or just squish me? I hate everything that's going on right now. Could we not? Any of this? <laughs> uh, if you wanted to, sure, but if you want to just be put out of your misery, then why would you? Uh, which do you think is best? Running or, or just getting squished? Running might prolong it. Holy God. <laughs> He's been forever alone so long he can't get off to anything unless it's completely despicable. OP says, if you want to just be put out of your misery, then squished right away would be a safe bet, I think. Unless I run, and you squish me while I'm running! I guess, but why would you run if you want it to end? <laughs> uh, because this is all sexual and you've been rused. I hate to blow the whole cover off and tell OP that that's what this guy's doing, but that's definitely what this guy's doing. I'm really hoping for an update on this, honestly. <laughs> Uh, just keep talking to him. Let him talk about being a bug for hours. There's good content. <laughs> uh, and that day the heavens parted and said, Guess what, Red X? There is a part two. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Let's check that out. Uh, do you think I should just wait and let you squish me? If you want to be put out of your misery, then yes. <laughs> Uh, you can tell OP's already over it. The comments in the last thread let her know what was going on. Uh, considering I'd be tidy, what would I even look like after that? Yes, what? You want me to describe your own blood dripping down the bottom of my shoe? This is so terrifying. I try not to judge people too harshly, okay? But you're making this someone else's problem. And she's letting it continue to be her problem for at least a few more exchanges. OP just says, I don't know, you would look squished, shrug emoji. Yeah, just let me squish you. Get it over with. Uh, do you think I'd be like a blood stain? Why do you even need to have this conversation with another human being? I miss the days before the internet where you'd think something like this and you go, nobody else thinks that. That's a weird thought. I got to stuff it down in there. But now you have that thought. You get on the internet, you find 500 other people who do the things that you like and make art of it and whatnot. You indulge in this fantasy, and you just spiral forever downward. 
I don't think that you'd be a blood stain. I think you'd be a shit stain. Not much of a change from your current existence, honestly. <laughs> but I digress. OP says, I assume there would probably be a small blood stain. Yes. <laughs> it's humid, but do you think I'd cower in fear when you go to do it? Considering you said earlier that you're afraid of death, yes. This has got to be some type of mental illness. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, when do you think I'd cower, hun? Ugh, hun. Uh, probably right when I'm about to squish you. I hope you'll talk to me as you're doing it. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> uh, I don't even want to talk to you right now. Just call me with your voice. Like when people say, listen to my voice, etc. That's usually with hypnosis, not death. No, come on, OP. You never strangled somebody to death and then you go, shh, 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 shh it's gonna be okay. Go towards the light, shh. <laughs> uh, but still, I'd like to hear your voice to know I'm not dying alone. Bro, this is just, I don't even know what to do with this. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could do that if that's what you wanted. Crying, laughing emoji. Why are we still using this emoji? Has that not gone out the window already? There was no purpose to it before. None of this has really been funny, except for awkward cringe funny. And then there's a whole storm of them coming up. Uh, will I essentially be dying alone, crying laughing? I mean, kind of, yes, crying laughing. Why's that, lol, crying laughing? What will you be saying to me? God, you're both so fucking awkward. <laughs> uh, we're all dying together right now, is what's happening. I mean, I'm not dying with you, so you're kind of alone, but I'm still there. Yeah, that's what I mean. You'll still be there with me. What will I be seeing around me? Because I need a hard floor. I have hardwood downstairs. <laughs> uh, Y'all actually really planned this out. Again, I, I, my, my brain is broken. <laughs> Do you think it'll be scary from my perspective? I don't know, probably. <laughs> Uh, is OP having like the least bit of fun with this? It's fun in third person. I don't think I'd want to have this conversation for an extended period. Creep says, uh, why would it be scary? OP says, well, because you're gonna die. So if I'm on your hardwood floor, what will I see around me? My fucking shoe coming down to kill you. I'm done with this conversation, lol. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how it got as far as it did. Oh, and there's still one more part to it. Okay. Uh, I do have a reason for this, but I don't want to be judged. I was really enjoying your company. Dude, why? It's just you talking about what if you were a bug. It's the shittiest roleplay I've ever seen. <laughs> OP just says, okay. But at this point, we're just running in circles. I've answered all the questions. This conversation is going nowhere. If I tell you my reason, you'll understand. Sure. Oh, yes. Please tell me the reason that's not sexual, definitely. He just really likes Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> he says, uh, okay then. So ever since I was young, I always wanted to imagine what being shrunk would be like. And I've always wanted to talk to someone about it. If you don't mind, I'm autistic as well. So I'd appreciate it. I hope you don't mind. Holy shit, dude. This is not a job for me. This is a job for a, a, a paid professional. Please get out of my inbox. Thank you. OP says, look, I'm not judging, but I really don't think I want to continue this conversation. Sorry, I think I've done all I can do. <laughs> uh, nice and succinct, and hopefully he took that as the end. He was really trying to use autism as his get out of jail free card. <laughs> uh, he's like, you have to continue talking to me or else you should feel guilty. It's like, no, dude, you're weird. This isn't enjoyable. Goodbye. She had me in the first half. Emily, 23, about me. Men are assholes, but if you are what you eat, then that's okay with me. Yeah, this new generation and their fascination with analingus. Why, back in my day, we had to do it with a big hairy bush and we liked it. <laughs> we loved it. Nobody put genitals in each other's mouths. <laughs> what is this new fangled? <laughs> I don't know, whatever. My pronouns are U-S-A. Hannah is 25. 
Proud virgin, single mom of nine. <laughs> oh, it's a joke profile already. Divorced 18 times, wine first, only God can judge me. Live, laugh, love. My pronouns are you, S, A. <laughs> uh, and then of course the clincher of the whole profile. Salute to scream of pa Engel Scott till big yag besitter inte du kun skaperna. Which of course means in Swedish, stop writing to me in English, I don't have those skills. <laughs> So I don't even know if she knows what she just said, but I like to think that she does <laughs> Over here. We got a not the Google Doc This is redacted. He's 37 years old and pansexual Please read this Google Doc to see if we're a good match and so that you don't potentially waste your time on me I'm an odd duck. Can you even click links on tinder? <laughs> Seems like a security violation. I would be interested if we could undo this edit somehow, most of it's readable, but there's a few parts where it isn't. And I don't have the patience to sit here and test it. At least not right now. Maybe we do it in a future video or something. This OP says, yeah, I unmatched her. Who comes first in a relationship? The cat or partner? Serious question. Yeah, just unmatch already. I know where this is going. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Uh, OP says, I mean, I don't own a cat, so partner. It's the cat! What a shocker, I didn't see that one coming, huh? You value your pet more than your partner. Are you stupid or something? Obviously. <laughs> OP says, is this supposed to be like a test or have some hidden meaning or something? Yes, it's a test. My kitten comes first. Three face palm emojis. Well, hey, that's cool, that's great. <laughs> I'm gonna get the fuck out. <laughs> uh, OP says, yeah, good luck with that. Same to yo. Does that intro usually result in a riveting conversation? No, it's an instant cutoff. Might as well keep it consistent then, on match. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you love to see it, honestly. Some dudes will be self-hating and simpy enough to be like, that's fine, I love cats too. But I'm glad that's not you, OP. Credit where credit is due. Uh, my friend's Tinder conversations are truly unhinged. I'm like totally emotionally unstable. How many issues do you have? More than a magazine. I'm wet. <laughs> uh, everybody's damaged their real life, I guess, but usually we don't walk up to each other and throw the red flag on the table first thing. It's gonna end in fireworks, that much I know. And also, your house might get burnt down. <laughs> uh, dude says, just wait till I trauma dump. I'm gonna make you wetter. Oh my god. Please tell me that you've been cheated on. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. I don't trust it. Maybe they just have a dark sense of humor. <laughs> god, I hope they just have a dark sense of humor. Ah. <laughs> uh, this OP says, I'm pretty shy and not good at talking to girls, so I was really excited when she said yes to meeting, but now... Can someone tell me what I said that was wrong here? Alright, OP is aware of his shortcomings, so, so we gotta take it real easy on him. He says, let's meet up then? She's like, yeah, sure. Is it okay if we meet in the middle? I found a restaurant that looks pretty good. Screenshot. Huh? What do you mean, meet in the middle? Aren't you gonna pick me up? <laughs> uh, no. OP says, oh, I thought since we live two hours away from each other, it's more convenient to travel one hour each. It's only convenient for you. You're not even considering my feelings, so why should I meet you lol? Bye. I can see it from both sides. I don't know. Some people fly to the other side of the world for the woman that they love, but they've probably known each other for a bit longer than a day or two. I'll say this much, OP, you were going real hard in the paint trying to clutch victory from the jaws of defeat, but I think next time maybe establish if that's something that she'd be okay with before just presuming it. You did all right, it's just another one of those chicks that wants to LARP as a trad wife until it's inconvenient for them, right? <laughs> I think we saw one of those already. Here's a profile from Bumble. Yeah, we rarely get these. <laughs> he says, bars and beer. I'm looking for a woman who will make me coom. M, make me dinner. A, appreciate the things I do for you. K, kiss me. E, eager to ask about my day. 
God, you really are an emotionally fragile animal, aren't you? I opened the door, aren't you gonna say thank you? Why didn't you ask me about my day? Let me tell you something right now, son. A man does what needs to get done. He doesn't ask for validation from others regarding that. You do it because it's what you do. So yeah, that's make. <laughs> M, marry me. E, endlessly love me. C, capture my heart. U, until death do us part. M, make me come. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of funny. It's also kind of stupid and lazy. I don't know. I could go either way on it. Dancing Piano says, I'm into romance. R-O-M anal N-C-E. <laughs> uh, the real joke is always in the comments. God damn. If you pulled that one out one of these days, you might actually get your dick wet with diarrhea. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Lord, I apologize. Uh, um, is he being rude? I don't know why else he'd say this. I'm fat. <laughs> hey, Felix, what's up? I'd take you out to the movies, but they don't let me take a snack in. <laughs> wow, that would have been so original a decade ago. <laughs> LaBow, that was so corny, crying laughing. Uh, I should be more specific. <laughs> Small snacks are easy to sneak in, but you're definitely more than just a little snack. Respectfully, of course. I mean, you answered the question in your own post title, OP. Why would he say this? I'm fat. He said it respectfully. What else do you want? Yeah, but I don't mean bitches in a disrespectful way. Truth is, if you're fat and you know it, like, just lean into it, you know? Either that or try and improve yourself and get skinnier if that's what you want. I, I can't tell you how to live your life. But yeah, that's probably why he said it. Because you're fat. And maybe Felix is into big girls, and that's okay too. We're all just looking for our perfect puzzle piece. So good luck with all that shit. <laughs> uh, OP says, online dating is exhausting. Really, it's just a dumpster fire. I'd rather go meet somebody in real life. <laughs> hey, Z, if that is your real name. What'd you get up to this weekend? Yeah, nothing too special. Nice, I was down in that place and I spent a day on the beach and a day doing some wine tours and eating delicious food. No response. So, what's your name, Z? Uh, Redacted. Oh, hi, Redacted. What have you been up to this week? Nothing too exciting. Oh my god. Are you always this dry and boring? <laughs> I'd like two of these dry, boring people to meet each other, you know? Just have a one-word conversation the entire time. I don't know that it's possible, unless maybe you mixed in some emojis. I'm not sure what's worse, just <laughs> complete dry texting like this, or trauma dumping immediately. I I'm very torn. Alright, let's try this one. OP says, no way this dude is serious. Uh, right? <laughs> Somebody say right. I imagine kneeling in front of you, and you walking shyly up to me, and I take your hips in my hands and pull you into me. I'll rest my head on you to take in your scent. Ew. Oh, God. <laughs> Please don't. Mm, Mr. Musk. You would be right in front of me, and I would delight in your presence. <laughs> Uh, yes, indeed. And then let's get to the about me. I'm trying to find a girlfriend to marry one day. I'm still a virgin. Once held a girl's hand in high school. That's it. All right, well, this weird role play thing that you're doing, that might be the reason for the whole thing. Can we just have a normal conversation that doesn't talk about sense or anything like that? <laughs> also, looking to accumulate a horde of girls who are platonic friends. <laughs> they could give me dating and relationship advice. I find girls to be better friends than men. Less drama, you know? No, I don't know, actually. <laughs> uh, have you ever actually been friends with women, or is this just uh, a theory that you built up in your head? I feel sort of bad for him until he mentions a horde of girls is like, oh, I, I see what you're really about. You want to be the star of your very own harem anime. And I just got to be honest, I, I, I don't think it's ever going to happen for you. This OP says, hey, is this nagging? <laughs> I'm going to go off grid and live off the lands. Just one day, I don't care for it anymore. Oh, yeah, I love to do that, too. Really? But if your career is such, you you can't really go off grid, lol. 
Sure can. I make art, lol. Have you ever been to the zoo in Wapeton, North Dakota? Nope. Oh, haha. -ha. I have a sculpture there. Don't go to that shithole anywhere east of North Dakota sucks, okay? <laughs> what? Uh... You could give her accolades on getting her art into a zoo. That's a pretty big accomplishment, but he just wants to make it about how he hates this entire state for no reason. <laughs> uh, yep, I fucking hate Minnesota. Next time, find a route around shit state. <laughs> Lol, why is that? That is also aggressively specific. Yeah, this is not the kind of person you want to hang around. This person loves misery. They revel in it. Like... Why so many damn trees? And I thought Chippewas were instinct. <laughs> uh, I think you mean extinct, and no, Native Americans still exist. What the fuck is this guy on about? Lol, Minnesota used to be forests in the north and grasslands in the south. Any favorite movies or TV shows? Don't watch TV. <laughs> like, nothing at all? Uh, how about books? No books. More outdoors and country. I have ADHD and I get bored super easy. Like right now with this conversation. Well, all right then. Nice talking with you. <laughs> Not really. And then he sends a, a thumbs up emoji and says, Quitter, lol. Yeah, you're really not the type of person that anybody would want to be around for an extended period of time. But I don't know. Neither am I most days. <laughs> huh. Chat about what? Cryptocurrency. Can I tell you how it changed my life? <laughs> Newly divorced and 15 minutes after downloading Tinder, this happens. School was 10 plus years ago and 2.5 thousand miles away. Uh, hey, OP, I guess you're not from around here. Hi, Jimmy. You forgot to blank out his name in the matched part. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. What years did you go to university? I also went there and hooked up with a Jimmy one time. I hope you wore a Jimmy hat. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> he kind of looked like you. Uh, yeah, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy coming back for the double dip. Look at you. This could also be terrifying, I guess, depending on how you frame it. Either because Jimmy is stalking her specifically, or because there's just so many dudes out there. Just the sea of dongs to surf upon. <laughs> it's not as cool as it sounds. What do men honestly expect with bios like these? I'm looking for a woman. At least 30 pounds overweight with seven kids by nine different baby daddies. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> Uh, uh, must still think she's a tan, independent woman living on child support and has my kids are my world written in the bio. Send a compliment? <laughs> uh, my basics over seven foot three. <laughs> uh, the problem is you're, you're a 36 year old man on Bumble. I think all these dating apps are, are meant for the younger ones, right? It's time for your balls to drop, Jason, is what I'm trying to tell you. You need to go out, hit up a lady at a bar like like anybody else would do 20 years ago <laughs> in a more idealistic time. <laughs> uh, uh. Guys, d did I mess it up? Still no response. <laughs> uh, please tell me that's a permanent tattoo on your lower back. I'd love to tell you it is, but it's unfortunately not. Maybe I'll have a permanent one there someday. Oh, man! I wanted to check it out from a closer angle. <laughs> Wahoo, it's -a me, Mario. Show me your ass. Uh, could you possibly thirst anymore? I don't know, man. This is just totally not the vibe I go for when meeting new people. So it's always it's always weird to jump back in with all the cum brains, right? <laughs> uh, she says that can be arranged with or without the tattoo. DTF, DTF. <laughs> I like that arrangement. Ugh. Although I'd love to see if you have any more tattoos below that. <laughs> So subtle, so clever. Look at him maneuver. <laughs> uh, you'll just have to wait and find out in person. 
OP says, How long will it take for you to bleach your ass? Oh. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing? Did you mess it up? Yeah, <laughs> I, I would say that you did. You wanna know where you went wrong? Right about when she stopped talking to you. <laughs> uh, oh my god, dude. Make it make sense! <laughs> no, you. <laughs> uh, hi. Hey, sexy. What's up? Just... Home. <laughs> uh, when we bag it. Need to see eggplants. Need to see peach. Bye. See ya. Wasting my time. You wasted less than 10 minutes on this exchange. Do you realize that hundreds of centuries ago, people would spend their entire lives trying to see the genitals of their loved ones? Literally courting that goes on for like five to ten years and they never kiss each other. You had a ten minute exchange where you asked to see each other's genitals and were refused. And, and <laughs> you feel outraged by this? I feel outraged by this, but for a completely different reason. <laughs> uh, how about this post? What do you think she means? Default answer, don't know, don't care. <laughs> hey, I'm just gonna be blunt. I have a really interesting story. It's probably not as interesting as you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to tell it to someone deserving. I'm looking to get ahead, but I'm afraid of monsters, monster emojis. So I just lie on my pillow and have princess dreams. Wink, tongue sticking out, rainbow emoji. If you're picking up what I'm throwing down, swipe right. I am mystified by what this is supposed to mean. Pillow princess, I, I kinda know what that is. In lesbian circles, it's the eat E if you pick it up what I'm putting down. But yeah, head monsters, <laughs> she's schizophrenic. I don't know what to do with this. I love a good bit of schizo posting as much as the next man, but come on, within limits, within limits. Throwback. When a girl I hooked up with went on my hinge and sent, um, interesting messages to other girls. Bro, this, <laughs> this is such a violation. What the hell? Some girl liked OP's photo and the creepy girl said, NO! <laughs> oh, uh, okay, sad face. Damn, dude, you really didn't have to do her like that. Dating me is like a roller coaster. 30 seconds of fun followed by a long walk back. I read that as roller skates and I was so confused. Crazy girl says, am I supposed to gyne that finny? <laughs> gyne that finny. Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> I, I am so confused. Yes, <laughs> we all are. But especially the, the maniac that is manhandling this dude's phone and sending messages to random girls. Why? Just stop it, please. Girl like Dopey's photo. Crazy girl comes through and says, Thighs! Thanks, I like him too, lol. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, there's a, a market for all types of thighs out there. It's not really something you can wreck somebody on unless they have that insecurity within themselves. I feel bad for the smiley face girl. That could have gone well. Did you try to bring it back around? She could have been a real catch, OP. Just like this next one. Her bio said she was 148 centimeters. Uh, they say good things come in small portions. Oh. <laughs> uh, gross. I'm sure she's been fetishized for her height before and that is a really uncomfortable thing. I don't want to make a snap judgment about you OP, but I just want to let you know you sort of coming off as a little bit of a creep. <laughs> Just so you know. And she, rightfully in my opinion, calls him an asshole. Wait, why? Did I say anything offensive? I meant to compliment you. This is not a compliment, disgusting pig. <laughs> uh, I don't know if disgusting pig was as far as we needed to take it. There was a bit of subtext there, but I think she thought it wasn't worth digging into. Generally, the best thing to do when meeting someone is not addressing their physical attributes first thing. It's just not a good look. You can write that one down for later. 
So what is the 28 supposed to indicate then? This is Corey. He's 28. Age is 42, not 25. Yeah, but it says 28. He made the account three years ago. I think the most unsettling thing of all is it says nearby. <laughs> he definitely looks like the type to be nearby, <laughs> whether you want him there or not. <laughs> I'm terrified. Okay, so how many figures am I supposed to make here? Less than five or more than seven? About me, if you make six figures, don't bother. <laughs> Uh, yeah, six figures is so passe. She definitely wants more. She's definitely looking for seven, but she's getting five. <laughs> uh, and here's where I would make a joke about fisting, but that feels inappropriate, so we're gonna <laughs> move right past it. <laughs> uh, ah, I only had one thing to go off of. Just realized I swiped before seeing short-term fun. Enjoy the app and good luck. I don't do short-term fun. Guess I was confused by the part of your profile that says open to short. Yeah, and I suppose there's the screenshot. He's like, see, it's in your Tinder settings. Now you have to sleep with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, but she just told you. And she was respectful about it. I think OP's kind of a weirdo here, but we're moving on. So, I actually know this person IRL. I've been frequenting a bar she works at for about a month. I just haven't made a move yet. Should I tell her that I saw her profile? <laughs> no. <laughs> or is that breaking the Tinder code? Swiped right, by the way. Okay, so you, you play this one of two ways, OP. If you end up matching, definitely mention that you go to the bar that she works at and it would be cool to meet her there, etc. It's like, it's so easy. If she does not match, and you still decide to chat her up at the bar, never mention that you saw her on Tinder. This is a very delicate situation. Anyway, her name's L26. she, her bartender, six miles away, looking for short-term fun! About me, looking for people to join my Kill Bill group costume. I have an accent, and I like driving stick, because it feels like I'm holding a boner. <laughs> Uh, awesome, great. I'm kind of into the Kill Bill group cosplay thing, though. My favorite playlist is called Songs to Get Choked To. The hottest thing you can do is message me first. And she keeps doing these little anime fingers. And I see from her basics that she is a cancer. And I don't know what that means, but you could probably extrapolate something from it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've, I've given you my advice. Best of luck with whatever the hell this is supposed to be. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, um, am I the a-hole? Me on anonymous street working. Hey, good morning. <laughs> You're up so early, lol. I, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wake up early for work. I'm an electrician. Send me some pics of you as well. Oh, nice, and no, I'm not gonna, haha. <laughs> My hair's a mess, but if you want to FaceTime later today, I'm totally down. Send me some older ones, then. <laughs> um, why? <laughs> okay, never mind. Guess you have something to hide. It definitely seems a little bit weird, and I say trust that gut instinct. I don't know what the hell is supposed to be. Comment section's talking facial photos for recognition and whatnot. Other people are talking about, you know, just having the pics get a bit more lewd. A way for old electrician to start his day. Nothing wrong with a quick jerk before work, is it, love? I don't know, seems like OP definitely wasn't down for it. So good, you got out. A little bit of a weird exchange, but if you're asking if you're the a-hole, like, <laughs> duh. <laughs> uh... So, I switched from female to male an hour ago, I'm bi, and it went from 43 to this. Are we guys just less picky? You have received 23 likes. Don't keep your matches waiting. Go get boned up the poop shoot. I, I mean... <laughs> yeah, dude, of course. I think it's really just a humble brag to be like, some dudes think I'm hot. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. 
But as you might know, we're not the most discriminatory creatures, are we? Most of us, anyways. But that comes with age. <laughs> At a younger age, dude, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't want to talk about it no more. Unmatched after this. So, what did I do wrong? My bio asks, what is your favorite dinosaur? Oh my god. You want to see a few paragraphs about my love for dinosaurs? I'll give it to you right here. So out of curiosity, what's your favorite dinosaur? Dilophosaurus! Any particular reason? Thinking emoji. So we didn't have a good answer to that question, so he just decided to springboard off that question and talk about something OP is passionate about. Which I think is an okay move, but also, yeah, there's definitely one less point of connection. And then OP, being the coolest person ever, goes off about their favorite dinosaurs. <laughs> oh my god, I I'm so glad you asked. It's not because of the obvious reasons that they were the first reptile to develop bipedal modality, or that as far as we could tell, they were the first living creatures to utilize a hemoglobin degeneration acid, i.e. poison. No, it's none of that. But simply because one killed Dennis frickin' Nedry in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Uh, wow. He was intimidated, is what happened. He's got the personality of a bowl of oatmeal, I'm pretty sure. This is a bullet well dodged. I would talk with OP. Who wouldn't love to talk about dinosaurs uh, for an extended period? All of my friends would. All the cool kids would. Anyway, next post. And that, kids, is how I met your mother. Looking for someone to bang for my only fans. Add my snap. <laughs> Looking for a long-term partner. I guess it's just the same guy in every video. It's also probably a, a pretty killer way to develop your Snapchat following, if that matters by some metric. Maybe she's serious about it, but I don't think so. You really gonna bang some creeps off the internet? Man, <laughs> could be me. I have an extensive vetting process. <laughs> uh, this next OP says, I met this girl off Tinder, and things had been so great these past few weeks, until yesterday. Yeah, she let the mask slip. She's like, here's what's really under here. <laughs> and you're like, oh god, I gotta go. Well advised, honestly. Well advised. Showing me that picture was my breaking point. Probably include the picture or something for context, unless it's horrible. <laughs> what she did and what your exes did have nothing to do with me. It shouldn't have been our breaking point. I'm just throwing the deep end of the pool, expected to pick up the pieces of what happened here. I guess in this conversation you're talking about cheating exes, and as a result of that, you have a myriad of trust issues. So I don't see this working out, but sure, let's let's all gather around the dumpster fire. <laughs> It hurts me a lot still. It feels like the ultimate betrayal. Is this a picture? Are, are you out of your mind? <laughs> she is. She is out of her mind. I can't let you feel what I felt when I saw that picture. I felt like throwing up. I felt like passing out. I, I was literally just struggling to breathe. It, it's like finding out a family member died. That sinking feeling. It's indescribable! <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe it's time to get back on your meds or something. <laughs> I don't know what the picture was, but to compare it to a loved one dying, <laughs> just seeing his ex's face is what I presume happened here. It is time to turn and run. <laughs> OP says, I barely even knew her. She wasn't even in the group we hung out with. I never betrayed you. I never knew you at that time, and you can't judge my past. I never judge you for your past. You have the right to feel hurt, but not by me. What a weird last sentence. You have the right to feel hurt, but not by me? You mean not in this current moment, or you mean in perpetuity going forward? Because one of those... <laughs> I can't sign off on one of those. I'm hurt that you guys created a memory. <laughs> Bro, she, she's gone. There's no coming back from this. <laughs> what exactly are you trying to salvage here? 
Uh, that memory wasn't me. I understand I have the ability to do that, but me knowing her, she wanted more from you then. She's a pick-me girl. <laughs> yeah, she's a pick-me girl. Not like this girl, who's obviously not like other girls. <laughs> I mean, she is, but in a, in a pretty terrible way. <laughs> OP says, bruh, I took lots of pics. It wasn't just her. I, I barely knew her. Why was she on your back? I have no clue. I have multiple pics like that. Well, I don't know. I don't put people I barely know on my back. But I'm telling you, these, these trust and commitment issues run so deep for both of y'all. It's really something that I'm not equipped to unpack. But you do need to talk to a therapist about it for the health of your future relationships. How could you live your life before I knew you? <laughs> I don't know. I was just out here doing things. OP does comment on the photos and leaves a little bit of context. So basically we've been seeing each other for close to a month. We have great chemistry and clearly we're both into each other. Yeah, clearly? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I'm not even sure about the chemistry thing. It's not even been a month, bro. That's so easy to walk away from. <laughs> she stayed the other night and we had plans to go to the lake the next day, but we were going through my camera roll so she could understand what kind of person I was in the past and old memories. Honestly, you don't need to know about any of that. She's not going back for nostalgia like you are, OP. She's sitting there and judging every single photo. She's looking for a fight to pick. <laughs> uh... And then she could test you and, and see how committed to this uh, one-off link-up that you are. Which really, you shouldn't be. You stuck your dong in crazy and now that you realize, <laughs> it's time to not make that mistake again. But I digress. <laughs> when we came across a pic of someone from seven years ago who I didn't have a relationship with, just kind of knew each other a little bit through camp and we all took pictures at the end. Long story short, this girl that I took a pic with had cheated with the other girl's ex-boyfriend. Now she's saying she can't be with me because she can't get the image out of her head. Made me really upset because I feel like that's a situation I can't do anything about. Any advice on what to do? Well, given the context, still run! What are you stupid? Run! <laughs> run! Run! Uh, I don't understand. It's definitely not a situation you control. But on the plus side, she's showing her true colors quite clearly. You hooked up, guess what? It didn't work out. Meh. I can't help him no more. <laughs> Next post says, My bio says, I'm only looking for hookups or friend with benefits, and she got mad. Hey. So sad. Only hookups. We could have been great together. Oh, Valentina. <laughs> Uh, I'm not the one for you, and, and you're not gonna bring me around and convince me. OP made that decision, it's clearly displayed. Not necessarily my scene, but it's not my place to judge him. It's not Valentina's place either. But she thinks that she could tempt him into long term with her amazing V. And by V, I mean the first letter of her name. <laughs> <laughs> OP says, yeah, probably could have been great together, unfortunately. Well, no worries. Good luck out there. I would give you the best you ever had. Good luck banging with no emotional connection, Lamau. Crying, laughing, crying, laughing, skull emoji. I. I mean, some people do need that. Uh, apparently, OP doesn't. But really, like, what motivation do you have to get into a long-term relationship with Valentina? She'll let you taste her goodies? <laughs> That's fine, but how are you around the house? <laughs> Uh, that's just the way I feel, man. Can't even be mad at me. Next OP says, this is why I'm still single. <laughs> yeah, me too. Hypothetically. <laughs> hey, what's your favorite season? I know it's basic, but probably like season seven. Seasons four to six, like, it's cool that we get a lot of depth and that the series just gets darker over time as the narrative starts to build up towards episode three, but also that stuff is super depressing. It's really cool to see Anakin get angrier and cut corners and really set the stage, of course, but it's just sad. Seasons one through three are pretty solid. I love the characters and the development and the dynamic between Ahsoka and Anakin and Obi-Wan, and I really feel like that's the essence of what we should get from the Clone Wars. 
I need this guy to go match with the dinosaur girl, please. <laughs> that is the best relationship ever. Uh, that being said, season seven is really where it all ties together. And the way the season just slides right into the epilogue blew my mind when I first saw it. I was like, oh my god, it's all coming together. This is what we've been building towards for six seasons, you know? It just delivered exactly what it was supposed to do from the start. In the most perfect way, with the most hard-hitting emotional delivery. The crescendo of emotion right before the end. Absolutely brilliant. Just phenomenal. So yeah, probably season seven. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think OP is the ultimate Giga Chad. Like, I'm not this into Star Wars. I don't want to call it cringe based on that. It's just, he's just, so, he's so passionate. Go to him. Make love to him while you look up at his Lego Millennium Falcon. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Stuff like that gets me real good. <laughs> It might be why you're still single, but it's also why the first person that you connect with, you'll, you'll truly never let go of. This poster says, that's how it's done, lads. Oh, thank you so much for telling us how it's done, anonymous Reddit poster. I guess I won't judge him too harshly. Maybe I could learn a few things. So you match with this girl on a day and you're like so girl your profile says you're into short-term fun and my curiosity is peaked do you mean a few mind-blowing and kinky nights of ecstasy or sharing a bag of microwave popcorn honestly i'm down for either at this point but all i can say is <laughs> i'm glad you suggested it Feels pretty passe. OP must be <laughs> attractive. <laughs> Conventionally attractive for this to work. It feels a bit overdone, but I don't know. I'm not this girl. She says, I'll be Frank here. You read my mind. Thanks for picking up the phone, Frank. But could you put the girl on? I'm trying to get my popcorn on here. This, this is just confusing to me. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I guess I'm going to go make some popcorn. <laughs> Uh, I'm so sorry about Frank. He likes picking up all my calls. Oh, I'll be Frank here. Yeah, that's good dad jokes. All right. I think I'm just slowly starting to lose it. <laughs> Gosh darn lovable Frank. Bless his soul. He, he thinks he's being helpful. All right, OP started to, to win me over now. <laughs> uh, whatever brings him joy in life. Amen. Want to bring each other joy sometime? Laughing face with tears. My god, from that overly flowery, trying too hard intro, uh, we're actually managing to pull it back around? <sighs> the son of a gun pulled it off! <laughs> uh, she says, yeah, for sure. What do you have in mind? Well, I'm out of popcorn at the moment, but I'm more than willing to come snack on you, if you know what I mean. And there's the unmatch. No, she didn't unmatch. <laughs> uh, I would have, but I I'm not into that. This girl, apparently, yes. Oh, rats, I'm out of popcorn, too. I might have to take you up on your offer. To be honest, I'm bound to forget entirely about popcorn once I've discovered the sweet taste of girl's name, TM. And she said, come find out. I mean, I can tell you what it probably tastes like, but I don't want to get too descriptive here. <laughs> Think of the children, right? I mean, I guess if this is your, your big accomplishment, that's great. That's the thing that brings you joy in life. I personally find it a bit unsettling, but you're young, you know, get out there and have some fun, right? You just uh, probably don't need to, you know, brag about it or anything. <laughs> it's not exactly braggable, is it? <laughs> uh, uh, this poster says, she unmatched me while I waffled on sending this. Early bird gets the worm, if you catch my drift. <laughs> uh, OP says, I high pesties in these trying times, which, uh, like myself, I didn't know what that was. It's a spotted plant, but it could be like one of those cool pink ones. Okay. Do you have a garden or a bunch of house plants? Both. Oh, cool. What's your favorite plant that you're growing? Monsteras. And OP was about to say, what's your favorite two to three word phrase? 
Well, that's a complete non sequitur from the thing you were talking about. You found the gardening thing boring and so did she. She's like, I gotta get out of here. This guy's a plant weirdo. He's a pod person. <laughs> uh, I don't think you, you missed out on much because yeah, the one word response is, she might be a bit of a pod person herself. Maybe you guys were match made in heaven, but oh well. Sometimes that's how the, the Tinder dice rolls or something. Oh my God, you guys. Uh, I think this OP might be in love. <laughs> Fifth Horsewoman at the Apocalypse of Literal Hell, Bovine University, 14 kilometers away. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> about me, the blue-haired leftist that Joe Rogan warned you about, angry emoji. I love comfortable silences, fingerless gloves with the optional mitten cover. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I too enjoy both of those things. <laughs> My cat, movies, with an ambivalent emotional resolution, Lamotrigine, and taking 8 to 127 business days to reply to text. Now I gotta look up what Lamotrigine is. It's an anti-seizure, anti-epilepsy drug. So hey, look at that, we did learn something relevant. <laughs> All of my optimal executive function is spent at work, so I hope you enjoy napping for hours in your underwear and getting high as a coping mechanism most weekends, XO. <laughs> Emotionally unavailable until the psychiatrist and I figure out why I'm like this. <laughs> and see if there's some help out there, some professional help. You need professional help, hang on. Okay, okay. Dr. Uh, she won me over in the end, I'm not gonna lie. She's a Sagittarius, she's got a cat. I do think she's a bit too politically inclined to really get along with, but I don't know, you wanna smoke some bowls and talk about big ideas? Like, I I'm cool with that. And yes, we also learned about an anti-seizure medication, trace amounts of science. <laughs> this poster asks, what scam is she trying to attempt? This is Lilia. <laughs> I'm feeling great. How are you feeling? I'm all good. What are you looking for on this site? A butt if everything. You? A bit of everything. <laughs> what are you looking for? I'm looking for a serious relationship. I live in Kazakhstan and am going to spend my vacation from work in your unspecified country. In about a month, I would like to come. Smiley face. Distance is a problem for you, question mark. <laughs> uh, sounds legit. You can take the ride if you want to take the ride, but yeah, she's just going to ask you for money at some point. It is a scam. It's up to you to figure out which one, but <laughs> none of them are good news generally. If you're bored, go for it, but <laughs> I think I'm good. This poster says, I guess they weren't a Pokemon fan. Well, then I guess I can't swipe right on you. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> Try to guess this about me. My middle name, Mander. <laughs> Close, but wrong. Melian? <laughs> not at all. It's an object that fire may or may not come out of. Okay, final guess, Izzard. <laughs> Uh, uh, if she hasn't gotten it in the first two. <laughs> but I admire your commitment to the bit, OP. <laughs> uh, no, it's Rocket. But now I have to know yours for solidarity reasons. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Yeah, she didn't get the earlier Pokemon references. Definitely meme spout about Team Rocket. <laughs> Uh, you, you don't connect on this. I think that's been made pretty clear. Just tell her your middle name and start moving the goddamn conversation forward, <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, for the sake of everyone. All right, this OP says, I get being upset, but it was less than an hour. Tyler says, hey, cute girl. Oh, that's cool, me too. Thanks, I hope you had a great night too. <laughs> Are you okay? Mentally. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Who are you talking to? Uh, I was at work, Lamau. <laughs> I thought you had a date and you were like an hour late. I'm like, that's pretty disrespectful. But no, just the opening message. And Tyler is out here losing his mind. He didn't rage in the text, which I'm sad about, but you can sort of sense his seething, can't you? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's palpable. This one maybe does hold some hope compared to the dumpster fires we've seen so far. Uh, OP says, a woman who constantly puts effort into conversations is greatly appreciated. OP says, haha, do you go out often? She's like, oh my god, crying laughing emoji, you're funny. I like to make jokes and laugh, so I'm very impressed already. Haha, <laughs> I don't. I'm such a homebody. I love to just relax at home and watch movies and read, order in. That's like the perfect weekend. And of course, my son keeps me busy too. How about you? So I was recommended the blank tacos over on that place. Is she just like overly talkative? And did we know about the sun thing before she dropped it into a conversation? I think it's good of her to be somewhat upfront about it, but then it feels like she kind of tried to bury it with the taco things, so I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> OP does respond, uh, for shows I'm watching White Lotus and Black Mirror is good, and also the boys on Amazon. It's like we skip part of the conversation, but all right. I do, not to sound all corny, but it's my passion. Thank you. My office is up in Edison. Oh, that's so nice. Work from home is amazing. I can watch horror, but it depends, lol. If it's about demons and spirits and possessed people, no thanks. But if it's like monsters, then I will. I've only heard of Black Mirror, but the boys look interesting. Uh, we'll just have to compromise on movie nights. Bro, OP and this girl both got some, some manic energy going on. Please don't show her Black Mirror because she's gonna stay up for nights at a time trying to figure out which layer of the simulation we're currently on. But those are really great shows, OP. Just, just choice picks. OP says something that's cut out and she says, Are you this funny in person? Laughing face with tears. He's a big meat eater, so he loves chicken and pork chops and meatballs and sometimes he'll eat white rice. He absolutely loves tortillas. I love that answer. Dude, what the hell's going on right now? <laughs> uh, we're talking about the kid, right? Kids do love a good tortilla. Hot damn. She replies to no cap. We still use calculators. She's like, yeah, but even still, you must be amazing. Bam, ladies are a throwback. I've never eaten there. Uh, what's one of your favorite joke? Honestly, it changes depending. It seems like it's going well. I guess she is putting the effort in. It's a little sporadic, but like... Yeah, she's, she's running after a kid most of the day, probably, so... <laughs> uh, she gets to the messages when she could get to them, and, and then you get, like, this giant wall of text and have to decide how to address all of the things at once. I am sort of super lost and think that OP should have included his side, but... Okay, OPSEC, I guess. Instead, we're all left in the dark with OP just going, Look, there was a lady that talked to me one time. <laughs> Alright, cool, bro. <laughs> uh... All right, so she doesn't deal with men who only want hookups, then, uh, how did she end up like this? <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously it was that one dude with a silver tongue. He had a gift, and now he has given her the greatest gift of all. A huge liability shackled to your leg at only 18 years old. <laughs> Sad, honestly. I'm depressed now. Sienna is 18 years old. Okay, let's keep this short and simple because it seems to keep getting lost in my past profiles. I'm pregnant, and if you ain't trying to step up and possibly be a dad, don't swipe right. I have better things to do than deal with men who just want hookups. <laughs> uh, well, what happened to the actual father? Can I ask? And if I could ask one further question, what happened to Sienna's actual father? <laughs> uh, this is terrible, dude. Obviously, she's made some, uh, rather large stumbles. <laughs> but she's trying to change things around and get her life back on track. And Lord, that's gonna be an uphill struggle, honestly. I don't think I need to make it any harder by dogpiling her. Stepdads can be great, and I hope you find what you're looking for. Um, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> The one thing you should know about me is I live my life day to day accompanied by an entity who is possessing my body from the moment I wake up until I sleep. And even then, he'll contact me in my dreams. If he doesn't like you, I don't like you. Wow, so quirky, so interesting. I can fix her. Do you think this is fake disorder cringe or is she professing her schizophrenia before she even gets into a relationship? Because I find the latter kind of admirable. But unfortunately, I do honestly think it's just fake disorder cringe. <laughs> uh, here's a handy hint. This poster says, how to get rid of people the easy way. 
unmatched me immediately. <laughs> Shalom, how are you? Good, at home, how about you? Yeah, kind of same. Crashing at my sister's for the weekend while she's away since I'm evacuated. Haha. <laughs> Did you want to meet up? <laughs> I prefer to chat for a little before that. See if we get along. Uh, make sure you're not going to murder me. Huh. Chat about what? Cryptocurrency. Can I tell you how it changed my life? Were you purposely trying to get out of this situation? I guess so. She was DTF. OP wasn't into it. You're moving too fast, girl. I know I ain't the first one, okay? <laughs> uh, we're probably in the triple digits now. I'm not going nowhere near that thing. I do think it is a rather good abort button. I should do it in this video, as a matter of fact. Keep hodling Ethereum, everyone! And so, I did. <laughs> Looking for a human connection. Ooh, Tinder things. This OP says, not happy? <laughs> you questioning me about my life? Yeah. It's been a rough few days, but we're we're trying to push onwards and upwards. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is Dan, supposedly. He's 30, high tech, lives in place. Swimmer, singer, six foot? Well, who wouldn't give this guy a swipe, right? Doesn't look like a 30-year-old man to me, early 20s at best. So OP insists that Dan sends a pic of himself. And Dan actually looks more like this. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not the same guy. If it is, it's been a real rough decade for Dan. <laughs> uh, uh, OP says, yeah, exactly. This is exactly why I asked for a pick. WTF? Uh, not happy. <laughs> uh, are good? What do you mean? You're basically a catfish. Uh, I'm really not. You look nothing like your Tinder pic. That's what a catfish is. Anyway, thanks for sending. Uh, do you like the pic? <laughs> Missed voice call. Uh, I just reported you to Tinder. Just swap back and forth between those photos a couple of- This is definitely not the same guy. Maybe the eyebrows are slightly similar, but yeah, blue eyes, <laughs> like different nose completely. What the hell is this? I hope Tinder got this guy. He can't keep getting away with it! Seems like we got another catfish here. This bio accompanied by pictures from 20 years ago. Trey is 38. Oh man. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm trying this. I feel so lame. Like when did I become so old and alone? <laughs> oh man. Uh, take a break, Trey. Maybe it's time to take a few steps back, you know? <laughs> My house was always the party house. It used to be groups of girls that wouldn't leave, but I had to grow up. My son was born. I raised him by myself. He's my BF now. Please, please mean best friend. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Uh, he's 16 and I need, you know, one night or every night. Let's, let's not. How about that? <laughs> Uh, I don't think this is the way to go about it, Trey. Somebody be like, hey, tell me about yourself. And you're like, well, I peaked two decades ago. <laughs> Everything's been a miserable spiral after that. <laughs> uh, please, stop it. You don't belong here. You belong in therapy. Ooh, this one's a profile critique. Came out of an eight-year relationship semi-recently and have no idea what I'm doing. Please be brutal. Well, this is George. He's 24. 24 in an eight-year relationship. <laughs> uh, bro, that is some of the heaviest puppy love. I'm pretty sure you're going to do just fine. But yeah, he says, if you want to explore the world whilst being catered to by your own personal chef, moi, I'm your guy. Oh, you got a nice little uh, beanie picture there. You got a dino egg picture. I like that one a lot, actually. <laughs> uh, outdoors ice cream, reading films, travel. Yeah, you're gonna be just fine, George. Look at that giant snowman. George is a Chad, honestly. Whoa! He also hiked to a place. Look at that! <laughs> uh, and he's being uh, given an AirPod by a man. Will you listen to my playlist with me? <laughs> oh my god. I'm flattered. Like I said, man, you're gonna be just fine. <laughs> you look like you're having fun. You're smiling in your pictures, showing a lot of personality. 
George ain't gonna be on the market for too long. He did ask me to be brutal, so I'm gonna say like this little uh, few days not shaving. Uh, it's not the best look. It's a beard, but not quite. You know what I mean? <laughs> go all in or go all out. Or, yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, George, good luck. This post, on the other end, is by far the worst and driest convo I've ever had on a dating app, ever. <laughs> uh, you threw ever in there twice? You really felt a certain type of way about this. Okay, fine. Two truths and a lie. I have 12 piercings. I've only kissed three people. I've downed over 15 tequila shots in one go. The second one is a lie. I've only kissed three people. That probably would have been my guess as well. 15 tequila shots kind of implies like, you know, I've only kissed three people that I can recall. <laughs> but she says, no. Oh, he says, oof, okay, which one's the lie? Uh, 50-50 chance of getting it right. Go ahead and try. Honestly, you don't seem like an interesting enough person for me to actually care to try again. Your entire personality is based around having piercings and drinking alcohol. That's the foot you want to start out with. I don't think we're going to click. But OP, he's all in. Going for the gold. <laughs> he says, okay. So the 15 tequila shots one is a lie. And she said, no. Oh, well, now I definitely can't get it wrong. Lol, 12 piercings. That's really cool. I'm only getting my first three tomorrow with a friend. Oh, wait, that's the lie. So, how many do you have? 14! <laughs> She's definitely not given much back in response. And also, if we really want to get technical, then having 14 piercings also means that she has 12 piercings. But OP, he's still in here. He's still rolling with the punches. <laughs> he's like, oh wow, that's really cool. I see you're from place. How is it over there? I'm from other place. It's your average cul-de-sac maze of houses. LOL. <laughs> She just says, I don't live there anymore, sir. Dude, I couldn't give less of a shit. You're expecting me to be like some sort of detective? Also, I don't know if uh, talking about where she lives gives her a lot of room to run, you know? OP is slightly doing his part to make this conversation more dry. <laughs> he responds and says, oh, I didn't know where you lived. Just look at your profile and saw it. How long have you been at your new place? Moving out must have been pretty exciting, no? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I love moving out. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, he, he's fumbling the bag real hard. But she's also not cutting a bit of slack. Like, one word responses? Of course you're gonna trip over your, your sentences a little bit. Like, what the hell am I supposed to talk about to break new common ground? Well, she told you the things that she's interested in. You don't have any piercings yet? You're going to get some? That's great. Can you talk about an alcohol story? <laughs> that's That's basically all I got. It's not much, but I, it's got to be better than moving out must have been exciting. <laughs> How bad was the place you were leaving? Uh, this this husk just says, oh yeah, true. OP says, so what brought you to place? I don't go to place. What are you even talking about? This conversation is over. I'm tired and annoyed. <laughs> uh, yeah, this conversation was awful on both ends. I gotta place more of the blame on her, but OP, yeah, not doing himself any favors. <laughs> uh, OP says, oh, I read that as other place instead of the state. My bad, lol. But okay, appreciate the honesty at least. Don't know why you gotta be rude though, lol. I don't think she was rude, really. <laughs> she made a statement, I'm tired and annoyed. That could have nothing to do with you. You're really trying to like nail down the location where she lives. It, it doesn't come off all that well. Talk about something more nebulous and fun and, and flirty than the place where she lives. If you're actually that interested. Like I said, I would have been checked out on the two truths and a lie. I'm like, ew. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm not interested in getting to know you, really. At least it's not as bad as the, the self-loathing catfishes earlier in the video, though. Here's another waking nightmare. He proceeded to call me on WhatsApp 13 times after this. <laughs> We had matched less than an hour before this conversation. Good God, he is down bad. Weirdo says, I could go on and on feeling sorry for myself. I've just had ongoing issues in life. <laughs> yeah, everybody has, man. This is not how you want to open up. Are you looking for a meaningful relationship? 
Maybe at some point you can unload all this, but this is not how we open. <laughs> OP says, yeah, some people are dealt that hand for sure. And I don't feel like my good years are ahead of me. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so I'm just kind of giving up in a lot of ways. I mean, you are officially my best friend because I don't talk to anybody else. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> uh, are you trying to drive people away immediately? This is not great. <laughs> Hell, a coworker said we could be friends, and I told him the same thing. He doesn't message me now. <laughs> Actually, two coworkers did that. Wow, fascinating. <laughs> what are you talking about? OP says, oh, well, hey there, bestie. I'm surprised that's the case with how many people you interact with at work. Just OP being nice. And then he calls 13 times. <laughs> uh, you're being nice. Time to really f*** it up. I'm going to make sure that you never want to interact with me again. And then I'll blame the entire world for why they've left me so high and dry and alone. This is self-sabotage. You heard it yourself. <laughs> uh, OP doesn't answer the 13 calls. Instead, she says, so, very kindly... You seem very sweet, but it seems as though you have traumas that you haven't been able to resolve and you need love and kindness. This isn't something that is your fault, but it's also something that I personally do not have the capacity for. I'm truly sorry. You don't even need to be sorry. You, you delivered that so gracefully. And a normal human being would look inwardly and be like, gosh, maybe I really do have some things to work on, but not this psychopath. <laughs> what the f***? Why would you ask me to freaking open up and then have it go against me? What the flying f You cow! F you! Screw off! Don't freaking type! Just freak off! F off! Okay, <laughs> you trauma dumped, then got mad at me for making it all sad and asking if you'd seen a therapist. I'm sorry you've had a bad experience in life, friend. Again, just the most eloquent response from OP. What an absolute maniac. And the sad thing is that sympathetic people will probably get lured in by this behavior. They'll just be like, oh, he said I'm his closest friend. <laughs> if anybody ever tells you that, you need to run. That's all I'm going to say. Hmm, Miss OP says, I'm going back to giving up. <laughs> That's right. Run to what's comfortable. So she matches with Jay, I suppose. And how does Jay decide to open up? <laughs> the creepiest way possible, of course. <laughs> uh, uh, hello to you. So what are your cross streets out here? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it says you're less than a mile from me, lol. I'm on this street and that area. Okay. <laughs> I don't even really know where that is. I'm still new. Oh, wow. Do you live alone or with other people? Dude, this is creep. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, please, never this. Are you doing like a serial killer RP? Because that's what it feels like. I'm so viscerally uncomfortable. <laughs> OP says, huh? Single? Live alone or with family? Kids? Single? Why are my questions a shocker for you, lol? I mean, can you see why, from a stranger's perspective, it might be a little weird, Jay? <laughs> uh, uh, sorry if I seem too forward. Yeah, what streets do you live on and do you live alone are, uh, fascinating questions. <laughs> uh, this one adjective, I, I would have gone with terrifying. I didn't say street. I asked for cross streets. I, that's the main intersection. I didn't ask for your address. If you know what somebody looks like from the pictures and you also know the cross streets near which they live, there's far too much information for an internet stranger to be walking around with. They're already less than a mile from each other, which is absolutely terrifying to me. But I don't blame OP for wanting to go back to giving up. After that interaction, I want to hide under a rock myself. <laughs> and that is only further exasperated by there are two types of men on Tinder. Tyler says, uh, can I eat your puna today? William says, you have really pretty eyes. 
<laughs> okay, we're, we're both after the same thing. Maybe Tyler's a bit more upfront about it. William, he's, he's trying to take the indirect approach. But OP says that she replied to both, so, you know, there's no such thing as a wrong answer, I guess. <laughs> I'm definitely more a William than a Tyler, though, I'll tell you that. Although I don't address physical attributes. Get inside their mind to walk around first before you're like, yeah, I like your body too. But the brain, that's where you really fall in love first, you know? Now that's trace amounts of science. This OP says, it, it just gets more wild the longer you look. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, this is Gloria. She's she's 19. She, her six foot eight inches. <laughs> uh, Gloria's a big girl. Professor lives in play straight les by less than a mile away. You can't tell me that's a face of a 19 year old. Those are the hardest 19 years anybody ever lived. Those are the 19 years of a grizzled old coal miner in West Virginia. Drinks Irish coffee all day every day in the mines to stay awake and then gets home and shoots up black tar heroin to fall asleep. <laughs> Maybe the, the text to speech just misunderstood her. It's like, how old are you? She's like, 90. 19. No, 90! <laughs> uh, I don't know how to change it, this newfangled Tinder. <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh... Uh, about me, the number one gilf in the area. I may be old, but that comes with experience. <laughs> You're blatantly lying about your age. Looking for some cute college kids to teach things they never knew about their bodies. Oh, she's it's the prostate thing, isn't it? <laughs> no, don't do this. The surprising thing about me is I can fit five members into my mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, stop it! <laughs> You're killing me, Gloria. <laughs> uh, relationship type. Monogamy. Open relationship. Polyamory. Languages I know. Chichua. English. Hawaiian. Lithuanian. Uh, something else. Yeah, Chichua. Only the smallest fragment of the population know it, so nobody can call her out on it. And then there's just some bikini pictures here, and... Oh my goodness, Gloria. Why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> She's a Virgo, has a master's, I have children and don't want more. Also vaxxed, better in person, touch. Oh, this is like a love language thing? Lifestyle, all the pets, drinks most nights. <laughs> yeah. Smoker, uh, Mary J, everyday weights, halal, influencer status, night owl. Interest, heavy metal, gym, jet ski, sauna, ramen. I don't know, Gloria, may maybe it's time to pack it in at a certain point. Maybe your kids are worried about you. Maybe they're, <laughs> they're angling to get you into a home. And you know, my entire impression of this thing would have changed greatly if she was just honest about the age range that she actually is. But you lied. You lied because you're cruising for college kids and it's gross. Not okay for a dude. Not okay for a chick. We just have all the catfishes in this video for some reason. Although the five members think this fascinating. <laughs> I heard that the high score is 37. 37. My girlfriend sucked 37 in a row. Here's another dumpster to dive into. I was literally in the shower for 25 minutes, and then this. Hey, those dogs are adorable, OMG. Yeah, they're pretty cute together. Uh, what are their names? Piper and Pancake. Ah, uh, Pancake. Pancake is the baby. I see. Uh, are you from Victoria? No response, taking a shower. Also, with the utmost respect, can I blow your back out? <laughs> uh, uh huh, okay. Smooth transition. <laughs> OP says, Men try not to bring up in the first three hours challenge failed. It is a shockingly easy challenge, but for some reason, nobody seems able to do it. The cum brains have taken over. <laughs> Uh, he says, ah, true, but you probably wouldn't have responded to anything else, wink. I literally responded to you before you said that. And here we are, chatting, smiley face. <laughs> uh, you really think you've won. 
You've taken the immediate response over the possible long-term development of this relationship. It's just awful foresight. <laughs> Your weirdly timed Hail Mary did nothing except make me think, wow, this guy's really impatient and also sucks at social skills. And both of those things are entirely accurate. <laughs> uh, he shot himself in the foot, but honestly probably saved you a lot of time in the end, so thank you, random internet creep, for showing your hand nice and early. Same thing happens in this next post. I don't know why these dudes are just so thirsty, fumbling the bag all over the place today. There's been some weird chicks too, but by far more weird dudes. <laughs> you matched with Creep. Tiggle Biddies drool. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what's the success rate of that opener? 50-50. Uh, <laughs> Which 50 do you think this is? Uh, the good 50, wink. Oh jeez. Sorry bud, try again. What's your snap? As if I roll. <laughs> uh, dude, he looks way too old to be on Snapchat. How did you even match in the first place? What was the profile like? There's a lot of questions about this guy that I probably never want answered, you know? This next OP says, I, I swear I don't understand women. Let's see if we can help you, fella. Yeah, I got my associates in general education and then decided to get into programming. Now I'm looking into data analytics. I'd wager it's less interesting than being a veterinarian, lol. She says, maybe just a little, but to each their own, lol. Yeah, everybody end the sentence with lol. That definitely makes this less awkward. Probably not the, the route that you want to go, OP. She probably doesn't know that much about data analytics except that it's boring. And yeah, you stated that it's boring. Where are we expecting this conversation to go? <laughs> OP thinks to a face-to-face -face meeting and says, So, you wouldn't happen to be free Thursday night? Good segue, just mm, <laughs> masterful transition. <laughs> uh, there's this nice little bar called Place that I know of that makes some pretty good drinks. Uh, I understand if you don't at this point. <laughs> Damn, dude. Try not to take yourself down, at least not so often. The self-flagellation in this post is just, it, it's palpable. <laughs> uh, the girl says, I'm sorry, I've been busy with school. I won't be able to do anything, and honestly, I'm not really looking for a relationship or anything right now. Sorry for the delayed response. I mean, she's on a dating app. She, she is looking for a relationship, just not with you. Boring and self-loathing in the few messages we got yet. Yeah, it's usually not enough to hook most women in. Maybe we can workshop that a little bit in the future. As far as the career path thing as well, you're, you're sort of all over the place. You're like, yeah, I did general education and programming. I guess data analytics is in a similar vein. You're starting to find your path, but she's like already a vet, you know? <laughs> I think she's looking for somebody a little more established, perhaps. Here is another confused fellow. But if me not smoking is gonna be a problem, I completely understand and it's okay. Oh, understandable. I mean, if you spot me for my bud, we could chill and hang out for sure. Just got a new bottle of wine. Please, I don't really understand what her last statement means. If anybody could please break it down for me, I would really appreciate it. Well, three days ago, this might be fresh enough that we can make it happen. She wants you to pay for her marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, run, OP. She's gonna make you buy $50 worth of bud so you can drink a bottle of two buck chuck. This is not worth getting involved with in any way whatsoever. I hope that's all been cleared up and that you will start running away post haste. <laughs> oh, thirsty dudes out in mass today. I'm speechless. You matched with Harley. Damn, Miss Rachel. You seem like you have some absolutely amazing boobs. And a beautiful smile to go with them. Oh, he's taking the, the double-edged approach. I noticed your physical attribute, but I also noticed your other physical attribute. <laughs> wow, I'm so flattered. <laughs> uh, just the beard and the, the flat cap. Harley's a neck beard. I'm gonna call that right now. How did you ever match with this guy? And they say chivalry's dead. <laughs> uh, oh, you cut me real deep today, Harley. Let's try a little bit harder next time, okay, buddy? Make your dad proud, wherever he is. <laughs> Her profile was full of period, 
What does this mean? Well, she's menstruating, OP. It happens once a month when the girls reach a certain age. <laughs> no. It means literal, like, full stop. I'm convinced that full stop. Oh my god, same. Really? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I'm really getting up every morning and looking at myself in the mirror, deep in the eyes, and saying, full stop. Truly, the daily mantra. Not a bad mantra, <laughs> if I'm honest. Ha ha ha. So, you want someone to sign with? Sign with? What the hell are you talking about? I guess OP's lost too, because he came to Reddit for help, but I ain't gonna be no help on this. She was too lazy to create an actual profile. She's too lazy to read the messages that you're writing. She's completely on her own program and probably unfixable. But who knows, OP, maybe you could be the one that could fix her. <laughs> Just give me a chance. I can fix her. Yep, yep, because that's how it works. Uh-huh. Maybe somebody could come along and fix Alex. How many red flags does it take to make a green flag? 47. <laughs> Alex is 28. Data analysis at place, University of Place by, lives in place a mile away, looking for a long-term partner. Which all seems normal enough. I think it's when you let them start writing for themselves that things start to go off the rails. <laughs> About me. Caring and compassionate person, uh, but not great at being polite or, or keeping my mouth shut. Oh, so not caring and compassionate. <laughs> <laughs> I say a thing, and then at the end of the sentence, I say the opposite thing. But I expect you to believe that both things are true. You're just dumb. <laughs> I'm curious, inquisitive, and I enjoy learning new things. Hobbies include texting, Netflix, complaining, calling it sick when I'm not actually sick, jerking it, shoplifting, and never cleaning my room. Jesus. <laughs> You're certainly painting a picture here. Something makes me think that Alex is gonna fit in very well here at Red X Industries. Put him in the neckbeard tank in Sector 7. Passionate about health and humans and ethics. I was vegan for seven years but had to give it up because I got severe long COVID. I have lots of diseases. <laughs> gotcha! Ha! Hepatitis C! Joke's on you, I already got it. Meningitis! I'm a carrier. I have lots of diseases. <laughs> cool, bro. <laughs> it's like the weirdest flex ever. Because uh, he's got no personality. Just complete bottom of the barrel. Netflix and complaining? It might be like ironic statements, but I don't know, man. I'm glad OP swerved this one because that is a lot of red flags. I don't think it's quite 47. But he's only 28. <laughs> he's working on it. Our next subject is 21 and OP says, why? <laughs> if we look like we could be siblings, I'll probably be in love with you. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, stuck in the dryer again, eh, stepsis? If you love curly haired, green eyed blondes, you've come to the right place. Yeah, Tinder, super duper, I guess. I get what she's trying to say, but <laughs> I don't know if you could phrase it any worse. Maybe she's looking to start a very niche OnlyFans account, but <laughs> no, she seems like a nice girl. It's probably not that. Probably. <laughs> oh, finally, some more weird girls. Uh, astrology girls are strange. Well, that's putting it lightly. <laughs> OP says, yeah, of course you do. And she says, don't, but I like you a lot. You're an air sign, aren't you? What's that in English? Luke, don't be uneducated, babe. When is your birthday? Ew, already ew. I'm a Sagittarius, I'm a fire sign. <laughs> and I'm about 30 seconds from flaming you to death. You need to stop. This ain't a personality. <laughs> uh, OPS, are you one of these crazy astrology girls that I've heard about? Oh, daddy, I also love crystals and vibes. I need you to tell me you believe in crystal skulls. Please don't make me believe in them. <laughs> uh, huh, I don't care, to be fair. You're really hot, so I'll pretend that I know what you're talking about, X. Oh yeah, great strategy, awesome, Luke. The reason that she pulls all this bull is because guys like you decide to let her get away with it. Let's make a note of that. 
<laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Now, can I know your birthday, pretty please? I want to be able to make the spell. I know you probably heard it a, a million times, uh, but don't stick it in crazy. I know you're going to. <laughs> you probably have some regrets about it. You might also have the time of your life, right before she ends up stabbing you with a fork. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Some dudes will really put themselves through it for the sake of a choncha online. Ain't that the truth? Good luck. That's all I gotta say. Good f***ing luck. <laughs> This OP says, was I a bit sassy because I think liking someone's profile to ask about their friend is rude and it just screams not reading the room, shrug. I mean, is it trashy? Yeah. Are people still going to do it? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, dude says, I can't remember how bad this etiquette is, but is black jacket torn jean single? Lamau, she lives in place, but she wouldn't be into you anyway, shrug. Oh, yep. Also, <laughs> you don't need to do it. He knows it's crap etiquette. He acknowledged it already. Don't even respond. Just leave him with the O. But OP really is going to go off. <laughs> also, it is bad etiquette to ask people about their friends. Just so you know, for the future, if you aren't interested in the main person's profile, then just don't like or match with them. So I'm going to peace out. <laughs> just peace out after the O. I'm telling you, you put yourself in a weaker position by trying to explain all this to him. I wouldn't even call it sassy. You, you just came across as like the more hurt person here, which you should not let be the case. Don't ever let him see you sweat, OP. That's all I got to say. Here's a bit more advice. My advice has been on point today. <laughs> Remade profile. Uh, attracting the strangest mix of people. Tips? Well, this is Sarah. She likes to have her dog lick her armpit. <laughs> uh, it's probably not a great start. And then the caption for it is, this could be us, which... <laughs> I don't like it. For many reasons, which I won't go into for the sake of YouTube monetization, okay? First photo, first capture, you've really freaked me out. But let's continue on. Two truths and a lie. My mom's my grandma's sister. I like peeing in sinks. I have a large tumor growing in my chest. Well, I guess it's better than the tequila girl. Also, shouts out to r slash sink pissers. Hey, <laughs> green flags that I look for is a voice note. I want someone who is... Equally as happy listening to podcasts and SCOTUS opinions being read aloud as they're skanking around the circle pit. If you let me take photos of and or paint you nude, that would be cool too. I'm an artist. Oh yeah, dragging politics into punk rock. It seems like we get along, but I am diametrically opposed to everything that you represent. Sarah is 34. Uh, gender is over if you want it. Yeah, she got some opinions. Well, I don't think we get along. <laughs> Attorney at government. My life behind the scenes. I sit on the bed with pink hair and a weird face like this. That's a prompt that seems destined for failure anyways. What would my life behind the scenes be? A picture of my computer setup? Like a girl's gonna walk up and be like, wow, dual monitors, that's cool. I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna get the third one soon. <laughs> uh, don't ask about behind the scenes. Behind the scenes is ugly. <laughs> Dating me will look like black dress and fingers in the air. Yay! Actually, it looks like she might be a bit of fun, but then we get back into the political stuff and I'm like, ugh, let's not do this, Sarah. <laughs> My most controversial opinion is I'm a bureaucrat, but I think the only thing that can save the US is a violent overthrow by the underclass. I'm not a violent person, but I believe we've sunk so far into end stage capitalism that it's our only hope. Kind of small brain take, violent overthrow. Yeah, like that's gonna affect any actual change. How about we limit lobbyist influence? How about we repeal some bull laws? We haven't even tried it yet, but she's like, nah, the streets have to run red. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. A very sane take to have. Uh, she acknowledges it's controversial, but it's not controversial for the reasons that you think it's controversial. Get someone who looks at you like... Yeah, that, I don't know. Some confused mid-30s government official who wants to pretend she's not a cog in the machine. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to cut you so deep. I think it's just that smarmy expression that really got to me. <laughs> Triggered my fight or flight response. <laughs> uh, my simple pleasures, treats. <laughs> just treats, a little bit of treats, nice. <laughs> Log walks. 
car rides, getting way too happy and excited when people I love return home, I'm basically a dog. Are you a cat person because... And then just like a, a picture of a cat, which goes completely against the dog thing that I heard earlier. I kind of like the tattoo and stuff, but I'm not going to tattoo anything on my body that's going to be dead in 15 years, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just really on one today. A special talent of mine, fourth tier artist. Yeah, I don't know, maybe that's being generous. I see a lot of like the tattoos and stuff. I'd like to see some of the actual artwork, but then I just probably sink my teeth into that too. Today's a bad day to show me the artwork. She is indeed a, a, a zany type of person, but I think especially, you know, approaching mid-30s or 40s, I'm just over it. I don't need anybody out here trying to really make a political statement, you know? Probably somebody else white, probably it's in some people's tastes, but not mine. But I'm also not gonna try and tell you to change any of the things that make you uniquely you, you know? It seems like you're secure in yourself. I think that's admirable, although I think that that time and energy could best be utilized elsewhere. But what do I know? This OP says, God forbid I encourage conversations about my interests. Ask me anything about gaming on PC. If I ask you any question, what are the odds that you won't Google it before answering? <sighs> yeah, I guess you just have to have faith in the other person <laughs> to not do that because you're trying to build a cohesive relationship establish a bit of rapport and honesty with each other. It's not all important that you know every single thing about gaming on PC. There's so many freaking games out that you couldn't possibly. So why don't you just shoot your shot, open up about your love of Destiny or World of Warcraft or whatever, and just see if you vibe based on that. As for me, I like Killing Floor 2. Who really knows about Killing Floor 2? I mean, millions of people, but it's not super mainstream is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> whatever. Just try not to be a douche about it. That, that's what I'm really trying to say. The gaming gatekeeper, he's here! You couldn't possibly know more than he does, and if you did, then you Googled it. Obviously. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just really a weird way to open up. This guy says, I'm from Europe and moved to Singapore. Why are so many women like that here? Sorry, I'm not free. When are you free? Wait, are you a student? Yeah, I am, you. Never mind. What do you mean? I'm looking for someone whom I can depend without troubling them, so I think we're not a match. You seems to be a serious type. Well, quite clearly, she thinks you're a, a walking ATM, as happens with most people with white skin in Southeast Asian countries. She's looking for a bit of sugar daddy action, and yeah, since you're a student, obviously you don't have the high paying job that she imagines that you have. She's not in it for the right reasons, is what I'm saying. You dodged the big bullet here, is what I'm saying. Unless you're just looking to hook up or whatever. But it doesn't seem like she's gonna let that happen unless you like wine and dine her first. The investment is too big for the potential reward. There's literally no return on this investment. I would thank her for her honesty and move along post haste. I should also point out that I think it's unfair to label uh, many women like this. Whereas you're a white expat, as am I and we could be labeled a certain way based on that. So let's make our best attempt to not do that and judge people on a, a more individual basis. Sound fair? Sounds fair. OP says, I know there's a good line here about seeing her in other styles. I just need to word it right. Yeah, definitely run to Reddit with this one. They'll help you out. <laughs> you matched with Kate. I love how you can pull off almost every hairstyle. And she's like, almost? Which one can't I? Already, I'm I'm not liking this. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. You sort of backed yourself into the corner with this one. I think the only proper answer is bald. <laughs> He's telling her she's gotta go bald. <laughs> uh, prove me wrong. You both get a good laugh, opens up a little bit of dialogue. Let me tell you about my male pattern baldness. No, don't do that. <laughs> uh, ludicrous. Can I tell you something? Sure, what's up? Would you be mad if I'm not actually 18? <laughs> uh, be careful out there, fellas. <laughs> I'm going to jail! Universal experience. Hey. Hi. Uh, cool hair. Thank you. Sorry. 
I literally don't know how to talk to women. Best of luck with everything. <laughs> oh my god. What is that? Uh, I appreciate your candor. Truly, I do. <laughs> uh, it's, so, it's sort of endearing in a way. Not the worst thing you could have said, somehow, <laughs> amazingly. <laughs> uh, uh, why do men struggle with dating? Hey, Want to go out Friday if you're free? I should be free. Let's go out. By the way, I stalked your Instagram and jerked it to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, dude! Uh, there's no proper response to any of this. Post nut clarity had to be like, oh, this is a really good idea, actually. <laughs> uh, well, this is be completely honest. Well, congratulations. Now that's never gonna happen. <laughs> uh, has head ever worked for anyone? Head. <laughs> I'm literally the most DTF chick on this app, but you need to at least say hello first. Rude AF. And on Christmas morning, <laughs> you have ruined my Christmas. <laughs> That's hilarious. At least put in a little effort, you know? I cannot believe this actually happened to me. I give up on dating. <laughs> That's, That's quite a large statement that you're making. A lot of people say that they always come back. They always come back. Hope you have a good day. See you tonight. Hey, you. I just realized we're friends on Facebook, and I saw your old profile pic, and I don't think I'm too keen to catch up. All the best. What profile pic? <laughs> oh, it's him in a, a Nazi uniform. <laughs> oh, it was a European-themed dress-up party, and I was young and stupid. It's from ten years ago. Sorry if it offends you, though. <laughs> I mean, it's, it is quite offensive, but I think that's the point. I could see a joke like this being funny, but to uh, have it as a profile picture for a decade, it's... I don't know, man. <laughs> OP says, yeah, that's a big fat no. There's a wonderful delete button for stuff like this. You know, for future employers or dates, etc. Yeah, that's fair enough. Shame it didn't work out. Take care. Here, if you change your mind. <laughs> that is so wild. That is <laughs> the wildest. And even once the game was completely over, he still kept playing. <laughs> She's like, there's no way I'm gonna let this happen. And he's like, well, <laughs> if you did want to someday. <laughs> uh, he truly doesn't give a fuck and part of me admires it, but yeah, another part of me is like, dude, <laughs> come on. Where do we draw the line in the sand, you know? Should we draw a line in the sand? I think it's the bigger question. <laughs> uh, what should I say, boys? <laughs> I always love these type of posts. It's like, oh my god, she replied. Uh, what do we do now? <laughs> Whoa, relax, dude. Take it easy, man. Cool your beans, bro. <laughs> Reply back. Try and be clever. <laughs> uh, so he said, can I save this picture? Because I want to show Santa what I want for Christmas. You make me sick. But yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know what any of this is supposed to mean. About now is where I just send a dick in a box gif and be like, maybe it'll work out. <laughs> I like to swing wide with these types of things. Uh, it seems like OP, yeah, a little more pinpoint accuracy on this girl with the weird looking hand. Is it just how she's holding her phone? I don't think it is. <laughs> Captain Haymaker comes in with the best comment, of course, saying, Did I tell you I'm also a doctor? <laughs> uh, there you go. You're off to the races! I think you're gonna see another thread like, Oh my god, it worked! What do I say now? <laughs> and it's just like the collective hive mind of Reddit dating this one claw-handed girl. <laughs> uh, now that's a sitcom I could get into, you know? Another post! I cannot believe this is the photo he chose as his first picture. It's him with tattoos on his face carrying a casket. Um... <laughs> Oh my god. Jacob's 25, he's six foot from Zaza Inc. <laughs> I really just can't connect with the youth. We're a decade apart, and that is such a chasm. I'm glad it's not a conversation with this person, a match with this person. <laughs> like, obviously, you did the right thing and, and got away immediately, but yes. Jacob is a weird individual, and I would encourage you not to interact with him any further. <laughs> Uh, 55 miles away, not far enough. Give me up into the double digits. 
<laughs> Don't do the casket picture, okay? Does he have a man bun? Is he wearing man buns? What the f is this piece of sh? All right, we're done here. We're done here. I gotta go. <laughs> Not this anymore. Uh, I'm four foot nine and strictly date under six foot. Here are the responses that I get. I think this is most fascinating to me because there's a lot of uh, subtext that I'm looking for here. <laughs> and I think a lot of people know what I'm talking about. Why do you, as a six foot man, feel the need to date a woman who's four foot nine? So you feel like big and strong? You could do that with somebody that's over five foot. Your kids are gonna be manlets and, and they're gonna blame you. <laughs> uh, if you're under six foot. I was gonna say that's quite racist cause I'm over six foot. But then I realized you're five nine so dating anyone over six feet would be like dating a giant. Yeah, it's a really awkward size difference where you have to pick her up in order to make her kiss you or something. I don't like that at all. I'm over six foot. I'm actually six foot seven. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I'm six foot even, but you already got maximum brownie points for being under five foot. That's my favorite thing ever. Me and my best friend, and it's a gun. <laughs> oh god, dude. Got a collection of hats on the <laughs> the back wall there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty gross. You can't put your finger on all of the ick, but you just take in his image as a whole, and you're like, whew, <laughs> bullet dodged. <laughs> uh, OP's gonna crank that six foot down a little more. She's gonna be like, look, I don't date anyone over 5'7", all right? Although you gotta be careful, because you don't want to go too low, or else you'll deal with, like, the small dog syndrome. <laughs> uh, and those guys ain't too fun to be around either. And then this child sitting in a car without a tool in his hand at all <laughs> says, uh, I'm quite bummed, actually. Everything else about you and your profile is appealing. So far, only half of these have been, like, graceful acceptances of what she has to say and her preferences. It's not a great ratio, fella. I definitely don't want the gun hat guy on my team. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's there, he exists, we have to count him, I guess. <laughs> this dude just says, LOL. Well, sometimes I think that just makes good sense. Uh, can you make an exception? <laughs> Here's me, gym guy. But the steroids have wreaked havoc on my body, and I need a small woman who will make it seems big. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Man, first time I was ever too tall for someone. Still thought you were cute. Just want to say hi. Yeah, you're schlubby. Your height is all you have going for you. <laughs> Uh, kind of like his hair, too. My god, if I could grow a mane like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it is it is interesting to see through the other end of the telescope, as it were. Although a lot of dudes might be making a run because it's like, they see it as a challenge, you know? <laughs> so you might be making more problems for yourself at a certain point. This user says they organized a date solely with gifts. Ouch. This is the most millennial thing in existence, you realize that. <laughs> it became a bit complicated when it came to the exact meeting spot, but we were both too dedicated to the joke. Oh man. <laughs> I'm glad it worked out for you. <laughs> That's really all I can say without coming across like an asshole. I'm glad it worked out for you. <laughs> Hello there. How are you doing? I'm feeling pretty good. And what about you? I'm fine. Everyone's got a hobby, right? You're so good at this. Violin thing. Cello? Yeah, it's a cello. So, like a cowboy, huh? What about you? Very nice. I like a stand in the wood shop, play with sandpaper, also drinking under desk, sometimes go to gym. <laughs> that sounds like fun. May I join you? And then he's got like Leo doing like a little champagne glass nod gif and somebody looking at a calendar. December 7th, 8. And we're gonna assume that's PM, I guess. <laughs> and then uh, Christmas tree cookies. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I guess, I guess you guys did at some point break. I don't think you actually were able to find a, a spot with just the gifts. But already this has gone like super far and obviously you guys understand each other on sort of a primal level. I hope that translates to chemistry for you. On some level this is a great idea because you get to start from zero, bang. You still have everything to learn about each other. 
But then it's also terrible because, yeah, you don't know if you have any common ground, actually. <laughs> you might just be on this date with somebody who's just a complete weirdo. But two people who respond purely with gifts to one another, I don't know. They're, they're vibing on the same wavelength, at least. OP says, I was having a bad day and I decided to screw it. It being Maya, I guess. <laughs> and when I saw your profile, it immediately caught my attention. <laughs> oh, wow. I've never heard that before at all. Is it good enough to get your snap, winky face? Not really. I'll give you one more try. Maya, I eat your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna eat no, your ass. No, no, no. Uh, Might have worked. But then you're gonna have to deliver, and you gotta make sure she washes it real good. Take a big sniff, because that's how you get hepatitis, son. <laughs> but I want my own ass! I want my own ass! Uh, Alright, now go have fun and be safe out there, okay? <laughs> uh, I really am helping out. Really am helping out here. The kids, they learn, they love it. <laughs> uh, LMAO, I can't believe this is working. Yeah, it's almost like humans are strange. Let's see how weird you can get with it, OP. Damn, it's freezing out here, and I can't find my earmuffs anywhere. You don't happen to have a set of thighs I could borrow, do you? Subtle. So subtle. <laughs> you know, now that you mention it, I've always called my left leg Thanksgiving and my right one Christmas. I'd love it if you paid a visit between the holidays. <laughs> what she sound like the cowardly lion? <laughs> uh, uh. So it seems like he's just recycling the same pickup line. Like, he just heard it in one of those dad joke books, and he's like, God, that's clever, dude. <laughs> uh, it's pretty baseline, but maybe it's come back around to, like, being old enough that some people don't know it anymore. I assume everybody knows it. This is the type of pickup line that's older than the hills. <laughs> uh, so yeah, OP says the thing, and she says, Haha, I certainly do. I hate the cold, too. Would love to have someone to keep me warm. Oh, I strongly agree with that. Yeah, cool. It worked. <laughs> uh, now it's a top post on r slash Tinder, and if you're on Tinder, you're going to hear this from some weirdo on Reddit who thought it was actually a good pickup line. Don't do this, dude. Be inventive in your own kind of way, dude. <laughs> uh, so OP says the thing again, <laughs> of course, and he gets laughing with tears. Love it. <laughs> I have a very strong pair you can borrow. I hope she pops his head like a melon, just like. <laughs> uh, that's what a guy loves to hear. I love that you want to eat me out already. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I really can't connect in a lot of ways to all this. Uh, Y'all really just walking around doing that type of shit to strangers? <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, you live how you want, but like, uh, viscerally, I have a, a negative reaction to that. <laughs> uh, you wanna know why? Let's get into why. Because you don't know what else she's been doing on Tinder. If it's that easy for you, imagine how easy it is for everybody else, right? You ain't the first dude. You're tasting last night's dude. <laughs> dude. Uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Self-respect, please. For God's sake. <laughs> uh, this girl sends a wink emoji and then OP says the thing. <laughs> Uh, can you handle the heat? Is the sky blue? Do dicks float? Uh, gonna need that one explained a bit. It was a genuine question, but we can get into a bath together to find out. Holy God, OP is not ready for that last girl, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, if it ever happened, she would, she would blow his mind. He would turn into a mindless slave drone. She's a man-eater! You gotta watch out out there, fellas, all right? <laughs> Just promise me that one thing. Uh, but what about my benefits? <laughs> you thought there were benefits. The only actual benefit? Red X Brand Super AIDS! Catch the fun! <laughs> He's got AIDS! Uh, 
what do you do for work? And do you make a lot? <laughs> Dude, you s <laughs> Who the f starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. Uh, you're about as transparent as it gets. That's how you're gonna open? <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, OP says, my family, wait. Are you asking me if I make a lot of money? Lol, no, travel a lot, lol, dying. My stupid auto-type. <laughs> auto-type. <laughs> okay, we're, we're sure this is a scammer now. I would never ask that, I'm so sorry. I assume you do though, working as an analyst. Uh, I mean, it's okay. If that's important to you, it actually is. <laughs> I mean, it's not unimportant, but it's definitely not the be all end all, as I am slowly beginning to learn. Generally speaking, I'm not on this app to just hook up. I'd like to find a guy I can eventually get serious with, and that guy needs to be successful, motivated, career driven. Is that you? Well, what is a lot? I think enough is like 200 grand a year, but I think the man should be pulling in 300 and the woman 100, right? What do you think? Living in New York or Northeast, lol, or am I so out of my ball field? You're living in La La Land. What value are you providing to society in order to make 100 or deserve even a part of the 300? And at this point, <laughs> OP righteously asks, are you not including benefits? Lol, wait, should I be? And pre-tax automatic deductions, like defined contributions. Plus, does the guy have pension benefits? And what kind of returns is he getting on his investments? Does he have debt? And what is his FICO score? And why stop it? Does he make a lot? <laughs> Got you, bitch. Uh, I love that you just drowned her with knowledge. She's like, wait, what's a FICO score? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel dumb? Now run along. <laughs> that's, that's great. If she honestly legitimately asked, hat in hand, I I'm sorry I was weird about it, what's a FICO score? It sounds like you know a lot, could you teach me things? I'd probably be like, you know what? I'd be glad to. But she never will. See, her ego will not allow her. She'll just ghost him and be like, he was a weirdo. Anyways, he's talking about FIDO, like some score for his dog. <laughs> it's so dumb. Anyway. So do you make a lot of money? <laughs> uh, you're gonna be poor forever, you realize that, don't you? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> uh, he unmatched me afterwards. Upside down smiley. Wifey! Finally, we found each other. <laughs> Lost you last time in the grocery store. <laughs> How are the kids? They're good, but they're missing daddy. And you're not missing him? We'll tie you up and punish your butt for not missing. <laughs> You're gonna get I'm warning your sister. Uh, whoa, this <laughs> took a left turn there, didn't it? <laughs> uh, what the fuck? <laughs> OP says WTF. <laughs> ha ha ha. Is not that was a wife he expects? Sorry, I'm into more respectful men who can make it through the first five messages without some sort of harassment. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, you want me to punish him? Uh, uh, is that not was a wife he expects? Uh, I love. I love it. Uh, it's far funnier than it should be. I'm sorry this happened to you, OP. Yes, I agree completely. But like, it's such a surreal experience with all the misspellings, it's <laughs> it's hilarious. It's something that you would expect to see, like, parodied somewhere, <laughs> but to see it in front of me, it's beautiful, I love it. How to reply or react to this, I'm genuinely confused. You reacted to their story, hard eyes. They replied to your story. You don't look very tall. <laughs> and he hearted it. I mean, nobody looks tall in front of a giant building. <laughs> you, you're not going to argument? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what it's gonna be like. You, you can already see five years down the road, can't you? I think the only proper reply slash reaction is none at all. 
<laughs> just let her fester. You, you have the argument with yourself, you know? If it's interesting enough, I might jump in. <laughs> it's not going to be interesting. She can't possibly be interesting enough to act like that and get away with it. <laughs> uh, uh, OP says, what the actual F? Yeah, these things do happen. Be careful out there, fellas. Keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> I do not. Have deleted a while ago. I was busy with work. Oh, okay. It's okay. Hope work was good. Can I tell you something? It was fine. How was school? Sure, what's up? Would you be mad if I'm not actually 18? <laughs> uh, be careful out there, fellas. <laughs> I'm going to jail! Uh, I've dated older guys before, and I can keep it a secret. Some guys are really weird about it. You seem cool, though. I, I really like you. And OP has the only proper response. Yeah, that's not okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, then he was about to say, I'm about to risk my life for this. <laughs> uh, which is far too overdramatic. And it makes it sound like you're completely on board, which is concerning. <laughs> but luckily she unmatched and it was all over. She got the gist. She's off to trick some other men into actual prison time. I'm serious. Be careful out there, fellas. This one is for all my short kings out there. Oh, this is the Lord's work right here. <laughs> the girl says, I've lived here my whole life. Lived in Mexico only three years and it was super fun and yeah. I don't mind showing you around, lol. I don't know many places either, lol. How are you gonna show me around? <laughs> I got lost, even though I'm from here. Some people might find that endearing. I, I find it concerning. <laughs> uh, but OP replies, well, I guess if we'll hang out instead, that could be fun too, lol. Shoot me your digits and let's see when our schedules match. Okay, sounds good. Uh, how tall are you? And then she sends her phone number. And then uh, she gets some text from OP and he says, hey, it's OP. And I'm six foot four since you asked. Hey, OP, I'm you tall AF. I'm five foot three. Are you okay? <laughs> Do you know how to type? <laughs> uh, what seems to be your damage? I'm already like excessively disinterested in all of this because you can't seem to form a proper sentence. <laughs> Uh, OP says, but your Tinder bio said that you're six feet. Lol, no, I'm short. And then there's a thing about me, six foot heart. Oh, her name's Jackie, by the way. <laughs> uh, uh, OP says, what is this then? Lol, I want someone who's tall the six foot, lol. Ugh, I thought you were six foot. Five foot three is way too short for me. <laughs> Face palm. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it's fairly hilarious. OP out here trying to breed some Viking kings. I want a strong boy, a masculine boy. <laughs> uh, five foot three, that ain't gonna do it. Pretty hilarious, and also, yeah, Jamie doesn't really seem that interesting, anyways, does she? <laughs> uh, this post says, I wonder why he's single. And oh, yeah, that's, that's a neck beard if we've seen one. <laughs> Uh, his name's Blake, he's 31. I have three jobs. Ask me. Griffith University lives in Alexandria Hills, 38 kilometers away. Again, not far enough. Let's get that up into double digits. And if you don't believe me quite yet, wait till you read the bio. <laughs> About me. If you ever need a ride home from work, save your money and send me a message. I'll come and pick you up and take you home. All I ask in return is that you suck me during the trip and, and let me play with you. And the goal is to make me blow before we arrive at your destination. Otherwise, I get to bang you to finish myself off. <laughs> oh, God! What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Uh, how many times has this worked for you? What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Uh, you've cut me so deep with everything you've said here today. His brain is just rotted. You, you could see it in his eyes, that, that thousand yard coomer stare. <laughs> it's just awful. I hate everything about it. You've had enough internet for one lifetime. You're 30 years old. 
don't come back to the internet till you're 60. And by then it'll be all weird and you won't understand it anymore and... It's always been that way, honestly. You were just too closely attached to even realize it. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Buddy activated desperate Riz. <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? You make me want to die in war for you. You make my male biological clock tick. Can I hit? Please, 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 please. <laughs> Uh, gross, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? OP, for some reason, says maybe. Are you just farming content right now? You have to be. That couldn't have actually worked. <laughs> uh, he says, okay, I'm not gonna beg, but I'll ask 47 times and that's it. <laughs> I'm here for a soccer tournament at your school. We should hang tonight. I'm gonna hold my breath until you respond. OP says, it's been 40 minutes. Are you alive? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm alive and well. Are you alive? Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, she's she's definitely farming content. This is all so weird. Desperate Riz probably is the, the best way to describe it. Probably without the Riz part, though. It just feels desperate. <laughs> Uh, why, unfortunately, it's such a nice day today. I'm so happy to be alive. I just went to go run around and kick a ball for a little, and it was amazing. I want you. <laughs> uh, being a semi-normal human being didn't work. Why not turn it all back to being really weird again? <laughs> OP just says, LMAO. Uh, what are you doing right now? And why are you laughing? I'm watching Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, come visit me after. <laughs> Where are you at? Red Lion Inn. Come through. Hell no. <laughs> why would you ask? Please, 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 please. Why the fuck would I come to a hotel? Uh, because I can't go anywhere else. Really weird, really creepy. Not liking that none too much. <laughs> uh, OP says, womp womp. Did you just say womp womp? How dare you? Do you fuck with me? <laughs> uh, please fuck with me. Christian, I'm not pulling up to a hotel room. <laughs> I'm literally a random man in a random hotel. Why would you not pull up? I don't understand. Honestly, I don't understand either at this point. The more I read these things, the more I realize that I'm very old. I don't connect, I don't identify, and nor do I care to, if I'm completely honest. Is it sarcasm? Maybe. But it's not the sarcasm- THE GOOD SARCASM WE HAD BACK IN MY DAY! <laughs> OP says, oh wait, yeah, why didn't I think of it that way? Do you not like excitement and potential danger? Or perhaps just a whimsical adventure? OP says, tell me more about this whimsical adventure. Oh no, he's really got his hooks in her now. <laughs> uh, the curing machine in my room and other trinkets I have lying around. We can make tea. <laughs> uh, you really invited me over to make tea. Just tell me what it's really all about. I respect you more if you tell me what it's really all about. Because we both know and we're both pretending we don't. So let's not do that any longer. Weird dude says, hey, have you seen the pints chit chat and good people video? I don't know what that is. <laughs> OP says, no, I'm smoking weed on my balcony. Way better than hotel. God, I can't even lie. That sounds so much better. I'm not allowed to smoke, but I would smoke with you. Uh, can you come pick me up? Please, 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 please. <laughs> Uh, is he just a golden retriever? <laughs> is that what's going on here? Uh, I think I have gotten to the bottom of it. <laughs> OP says, boo! And he says, why boo? You act like it's my fault. I'm so lame right now. I'm literally in shackles. I can't leave this hotel and I'm not from here. Please save me. I'll be honest. I think you're beyond saving, sir. <laughs> Why don't you just have fun with the Keurig machine and, and make some tea in your room alone? It sounds like a nice time. You get like a comfy fleece blanket and bundle up. 
Maybe it starts raining outside, you watch a little movie, sit on a bad dragon, pull yourself off. Whatever, it's your day, you know? <laughs> uh, you can do whatever you want to do. You don't need anybody else to enjoy yourself. But I think he's got a long way to go before he learns that. Here's another one, reminding me why the world should end. <laughs> what do we think? Nothing good. <sighs> can I pay to lick your feet? Intriguing. A <laughs> hundred dollars every time we meet up. Huh. 125 and we got a deal. First time I pay you 125. After that, a hundred. We do it once a week. Wanna start today? I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> I'm not. I can call you. Of you want me to. <laughs> uh, I honestly thought he was joking at first, but he is so serious. What made you think he was joking at all? And I guess the, the best follow-up question, if we were interested, hypothetically, because <laughs> it's, it's a rough economy, dude. A hundred bucks, a hundred bucks, you know? <laughs> How long does he get to lick them for? I think that's the most pertinent question. Until he's done doing whatever he does, well, he can make it last for hours. I don't have that kind of time. And I'm sure he'll want me to, like, pretend that I'm into it and all that type of shit. And for a hundred bucks, I mean... Come on, I can't go that far. You get me up into the thousand dollar range and then, <laughs> yeah, maybe we could get some acting lessons or something. But yeah, even the hypothetical, even the hypothetical thousands sounds really terrible to me. I think I'm gonna pass all that up. It's always foot freaks and furries, man. They're willing to throw a, a bunch of money out there to make some stuff happen. <laughs> you gotta admire it, but also be terrified. Next post! He unmatched me! Crying face, I don't know how to flirt, I guess. Few of us do. It's, it's a difficult thing. <laughs> Chris says, It better be your top priority, winky face. Yeah, with the shirtless profile picture and stuff. I'm already getting some creep vibes. <laughs> OP says, Let me know if you want to go out tomorrow so I can cancel my daughter's parent-teacher conference. He's such a good girl you are. <laughs> He's talking like Yoda. <laughs> Uh, that's what gets me in the mood. <laughs> a good girl you are. Put it in your butt, I will. <laughs> uh, hey, I, I'm free tomorrow, says creepy guy, who I guess has changed his profile picture. Who cares? <laughs> OP says, I'm not laughing face with tears. You're not a good girl, or you're not free. Not free. I have to go to a parent-teacher conference. I mean, it was a really weird sidelong way to tell him. Both of these people are absolutely fascinating to me. <laughs> Continue on. Chris says, Damn, I actually thought you'd be bad AF and cancel. Ha ha ha. I am alarmed that you would want to go out with someone who would do that. Yeah, parent teacher. It's pretty important. <laughs> the the well being of your children, no? I don't think Chris quite gets it. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> I mean, in the back of my head, I was hoping it was a joke, that you didn't actually have one. OP says, unfortunately, I do. All good. You're doing well giving me attention right now. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, you, you gotta be the center of it all, don't you, Chris? That's all you require? Wrapped and undivided attention forever and ever? You do realize that's an impossibility. She's got children. Whatever. <laughs> OP says, I could meet you for a drink if you want, since you live so close. I have my kids this week, but they're older, so it's not like I can't go out. I have them every other week. Where do you live? Uh, in place. Oh, I'm in place right now getting hair done. Downtown? Uh, which part? Uh, not saying. <laughs> You've already said too much. <laughs> He's getting in his car right now. Uh, I'm not gonna go find you, lol. He's totally gonna come find you. <laughs> hey, I just got done with the gym now, doing post-workout naked stretching. Oh yeah, smooth. Now she thought of you naked. You're in like Flynn, buddy. <laughs> OP says, if you were driving by, you might peek in the window. Haha, <laughs> sounds uncomfortable. Hey, I mean, of course, to stretch? No, for work. My stylist feeds me champagne. This conversation's all over the place, isn't it? Can we keep it in one thread, one line of logic, please? 
I'd really appreciate it. Neither of these people are coherent. I could see why it didn't work out. <laughs> uh, Chris says, I was a bartender. Now I'm just a content creator and going to start day trading. Ooh, so you're a little horny. Oh, God. What a nightmare you are. <laughs> Got some crypto, do ya? Listen, crypto is not a dirty word, okay? It's the everything else that makes him a nightmare. <laughs> Uh, calling himself a content creator. Please don't. Ask for the channel link. I want to know what sort of content he makes. <laughs> uh, Tinder pickup artist videos or something. Uh, uh, Chris says, Ew, no. I'm not a corporate bro. I'm a film person. Okay. Good girl. Dude, I hate this whole thing. Why are you subjecting yourself to this, OP? Does she enjoy this? I guess she has to on some level. This is sick. This is a compulsion. <laughs> uh, Chris says, I just want to get away from bartending before I hit someone. Lol. Ooh, anger issues. Sexy. <laughs> uh, uh, OP says, yeah, nobody wants to hit content creators and day traders. Nah, or tap. But at least I'm tall and handsome. <laughs> One saving grace. If you say so. <laughs> A focus group told me. Who was it my say? I like short guys. How short? Uh, 5'7 to 5'10? Oh, well, I'm too tall to ride you then. Even though I prefer shorter women. This is so creepy. I hate everything here. Opie's obviously not having a good time. She's like taking shots, but I don't think they're even registering. Chris is in his own world. The fact that you continue to interact with him is motivation enough for him to continue doing things the way he does them. I'm disgusted. <laughs> Opie says, well, I'm sure that I'm too non-gym oriented for you. Chris says, you look like a gym exercise to be honest. Yeah, so do you. A dumbbell. <laughs> uh, but LV says, I walk my dog slowly around the block twice a day. Chris says, I I'll be the dog. You really just don't know how to have a normal conversation, do you? <laughs> this is fascinating. I don't know if OP is actually won many points for me, but I think the fact that she's the only other option besides Chris is making me lean her way, basically. Although I'm still mystified as, as to why it continues. <laughs> OP says, hey, no offense, but you might be like the fuckboyest fuckboy I ever talked to on Tinder. Damn, you must not get many guys on here then. Yes, that's how I validate my existence. The fact that that might not matter to you would never occur to him in a million years. <laughs> OP says, yeah, I never get guys. You're my first match in a year and a half. Oof. <laughs> uh, really know how to pick them, huh? <laughs> because this is light news compared to the things I've heard. Doesn't help that I'm nude and I'm hard. <laughs> Gross, dude. Ew! OP says, I don't feel like I'm being very flirtatious. You're not, but he's relentless and it's making me sick. <laughs> and the scratching and stroking while talking to you helped. Oh, God, just please let it be over. And by it, I mean Chris's life. <laughs> uh, could he not be here on Earth anymore? I'd appreciate it. OP just says, okay. Chris says, do you mind? OP says, mind what? Me stroking myself while we chat. Not at all. Can I tell you a story about last night when I was alone in my bed? Uh, sure. <laughs> Dude, this is a perfect bait. I hope this goes completely off the rails. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so my cat jumped up next to me and started hacking, and then she threw up in my hair. Not gonna get me soft. I had my cat vom multiple times. I had to get up anyway, because I had perioded all over the sheets. <laughs> Yum. Nice try. This is sort of like praying mantis stuff, isn't it? You're gonna need to head over to that subreddit and, and brush up, OP. OP says, I bled through the mattress cover. <laughs> Bleach helps. Who were you, dude? OP says, I was wearing my hoodie footy pajamas that have toasters on them. With an ass flap. <laughs> no, 
That's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I mean, sort of it is, unless you gotta go out into the cold and do an outhouse, and you don't wanna take the whole thing off. Ass flaps are just about convenience, not whatever the hell Chris is trying to make it about. <laughs> He's just so hateable. Uh, eh, of course, I'm harder than ever now. OP just sends an eye rolling emoji. Chris says, yep, I'll leave you alone, unless I could show off. OP says, why do you even need to get a woman on the other end of this conversation? Just put a wig on a stuffed giraffe and show her your stuff and talk about how hot you are. <laughs> uh, now you've given him an idea and Chris never left the house again. And I think that's for the best. The world thanks you for your sacrifice, OP. What an absolutely insane episode filled with twists and turns of all sorts. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Hit all the buttons, check them links in the description if you'd be so kind. On the end card, I'ma link some praying mantis for you. Some creeps getting counter creeped. And uh, those episodes are also with my wife, so click on through, you might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching today, friends. Always remember that you are loved, you are worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Go ahead, cut him open. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Promise, where is he? It's just a fact.